we go. It is yeah. hot. It is happening. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Jeremy Parsons. And I am Janine Rubenstein. <laughs> Welcome to People in Entertainment Weekly's Red Carpet Live. It's brought to you by Kettle One Family Made Vodka. Cheers, Janine. Great to see you. We're doing it again. So excited to be right here in very warm, very muggy Los Angeles on the red carpet for the but biggest beautiful. night. It's very beautiful. beautiful. Biggest night in television. Of course, we're talking about the 74th Primetime Emmy Awards. All right, Janine, let's right out of the gate. What nominees are you looking forward to? What are you excited for tonight? All right, Jeremy. Uh, I got to say, Abbott Elementary has my heart. Okay, yep. Quinta Brunson, Queen Quinta, but also Succession. Uh, more money, more problems. That's what I say about that show. <laughs> more you money, watch. more problems, and more nominations. 25 yeah. nominations. Yes. It's a behemoth for sure. I'm excited for Ted Lasso. Will Ted yeah. Lasso maintain its uh, top spot after huge wins last year? And then the new show, Severance, which I just yeah. started binging. I'm super into. People are I pumped for that, that show. I mean, it's that whole idea of like work is work. And home is home, completely. Yeah, you got like, it's a little crazy in the middle with yeah. that show. We'll talk more about it in a bit for sure. And tonight, the show is back inside the Microsoft Theater with Keenan Thompson taking on hosting duties. He's the longest running cast member on Saturday Night Live, you guys. So he knows a thing or two about, you know, being on stage. And I think he's got like 16 wardrobe changes lined up. Like that guy Woo! is going to bring it no matter what. Two of the comedy actors going head to head though tonight. They have been friends for nearly four decades. We know them, we love them, they are legends. We're talking about Steve Martin and Martin Short. Only Murders in the Building stars both of them and they are nominated for lead actor in a comedy series. Both in the same category, they're going up, yeah. up against each other, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and the Hulu series, which also stars Selena Gomez, uh, recently aired its second season and is also up for Outstanding Comedy Series tonight. So we caught up with Martin and Steve, who told us what it's like to receive such critical acclaim. Well, I don't think you ever really expect it. I think it's a nice surprise when it happens, but most of the times you just work on the project and you hope it goes well and you try to have as much fun doing it and assume that it may not be well, seen. Well, I must say that you know, I'm older than you. I'm five years older than you, right? Yeah. yeah. And Is that just, just five? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And, <coughs> okay. And I, I'm, say, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to have be in a undeniable hit show. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's exciting. And to be working with your friend who you would hang out with anyway, you know. Yeah, it, that, that makes it really, I mean, yeah. the, the work situation of this show is really, if you came on the set, you would see a very loose, happy, and you would hear laughter first before you approach it. And, and including with Selena. Here we are, one of the standouts of the night, Lily James. Yes. Uh, by the way, you're just talking about it. It's hot over there. We got a little bit of a cooler spot here. Feeling yeah, good, though, right? things are feeling cool here. It's, yeah. it's you guys, I think. <laughs> I think that's it, for sure. Thank you. And this, this chain mail is giving me some, some coolness, too. What? Who? What is this? Yeah, this is Versace, and it's just heaven. It was designed for me, and I kind of like was a part of the color choices and building it together, so it's just unreal. I'm, I'm obsessed with every tiny bit of it. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. Congratulations, first ever Emmy nomination. Gotta feel good. Uh, look, Pam and Tommy, it's, it took the world by storm when that show came. It was like a dream come true for, from a PR perspective. <laughs> Everybody was talking about it. And I, I've read some articles about you diving in, listening to interviews that Pam, uh, Pamela Anderson did, watching her, getting her mannerisms. What Was there one thing that got you right into that voice and that whole character? I think, yeah, I think it was the voice. Interestingly, it was the kind of the rhythm and the, the, the speed in which she speaks. That was really key and the tone and the, there's a kind of like husky breathiness and uh, it, that was, it was a huge combination. Like, and each time I thought I'd like kind of got something accurate or mastered it, it would go again, I'd get it wrong. It was like, yeah. I was always grasping at trying to, yeah. it was very elusive. Yeah. Mm. How long and how detailed was this, the discussion around um, the red one piece? Like, I need to know <laughs> what that bathing suit was like behind the scenes. Honestly, it would blow your mind. The, the costume team led by Cami Lennox and the hair and makeup and the prosthetic and everyone, they were, they are true artists and every detail was yeah. like analyzed and torn apart. And I love that. I'm a perfectionist. I really enjoy all of that sculpting and building, like the outside, the inside, everything. But yeah, there was various different red pieces with different like bum <laughs> size or like up, like on the thigh. It was, yeah, 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 it was pretty I intense. I mean, Baywatch, I yeah, well, right. You had to get it right. There, there are so many iconic looks, iconic moments. I wonder if there was one look that even you looked at it 
on film or looked back and were like, oh my gosh, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> I really think Cami got it a lot, yeah, honestly, yeah. with the look, with the with the clothes. I actually wore a pink chain mail outfit, kind mm. of like mini skirt top that yeah. for a club scene, and she let me keep it. And I've worn it already a few times, actually. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Well, I tell you, it's such a pleasure to talk to you. We're so excited so for you. Excited. I mean, well, you've come such a long way, yeah. like, the, and the sky's the limit. It keeps going. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a good time here tonight. Thank you so much. Really? Thank it's you so, so much. Nice. Thank you. Bye. Have night, a good guys. night tonight. Yeah. Ishmael Cruz Cordova coming up from, oh my goodness. There he is. How, How you? you doing, my friend? I'm good. How y'all doing? Hi. Good to see you. Good so to see nice you to see you. Wait, out of the gate, the lapel pin looking good. What do we What do we got going here? Cicada. Cicada. I mean, I love it. I was like, I want to go classic, but not lose the flair. Yeah. Because I've been serving flair in this press tour, so I yeah. don't want to disappoint anybody. <laughs> I got so excited when you were walking out. Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, you guys. Uh, this show is one that one cost a gajillion dollars, but it <laughs> so looks like it did. It looks like it's so beautiful and well done. So take me, where were you in the world doing this? Because it's one of those shows that. New Zealand. New Zealand. We're in New Zealand, yeah. Okay. We, we landed over there. We were doing the show for about two years. Mm -hmm. It got a bit extended because of COVID. So yeah. we actually got shut. Um, locked in there for over oh, a year we couldn't wow. leave visitors couldn't come in so that was one of the things i mean if you see the show you feel the soulfulness of yeah. it because it became more than a show to us that that distance to our families yeah. had to matter had yeah. to mean yeah. something oh. so it really is it, it it's infused in every role i'm gonna watch it even closer i now. know right <laughs> you look for those details and that's the thing a show like this it commands an audience there's expectation then people start connecting to it walking around here tonight you're gonna have people coming up to you loving what's going on it's got to feel good to be a part of something like that. Tell me about a little bit of the fan reaction and what has stuck out to you as it started to turn out and people respond. Listen, I, I was a fan of the show. I was a right. fan of, of Tolkien and I did not see myself in image represented there. And now that I'm here, all oh, that reaction of all these people that are saying, we've been here. I'm yeah. so happy yeah. to see myself. I'm so happy that yeah. in my lifetime, the, I see the first black elf. Yeah, and here we are. And that's, that's the thing. Like, and, But also other people, I've gotten these, these messages. I wasn't about your casting. But I've seen your work, and I'm 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 gonna say that I've I've changed my mind. Wow. I've gotten a that's lot that's of that, beautiful. and I always I interact with those, even if it's like a little emoji, you know, because like it's people. The unknown always makes people scared, mm -hmm. you know. So I've always I've dedicated my life to putting myself in these spaces so they can see that we're here, sure. what we're about, yeah. and that they can soar with us as well. Yeah. Now I've heard that there the, the big discussion is mortality or immortality that's the big like which where do you fall and the elves have their their stuff going on but i think personally you I just, immortality or, or the, mortality the thing is that it, it's a you know <laughs> if everyone is immortal and we're good but if you're the only immortal one then that's yeah. kind of sad but <laughs> yeah. at least i would give myself a hundred more years as a human yeah, yeah, yeah. i got more things to do places yeah. to be add it out a little I, give I yourself some you. time just a little immortal maybe not but just give me a little yeah. more time like a know? solid 200 total just right 200. there you go just uh, when 200. i when i complete my like <laughs> list of places i want to be then you can clock me out yeah. you know okay. <laughs> yeah. i feel like if you could keep living in this phase right now things are really happening for you going well presenting at the emmys talk to yeah. me about have you done rehearsal what are you presenting and what's the anticipation well i did do rehearsals this is my first emmys and i'm also presenting at my first emmy so there's a lot of yeah. i mean i'm more i'm more wow. nervous about this than getting cast <laughs> in the show i swear i swear it's like a room full of stars oh my thing. god and it's so massive but we did do rehearsal you know thank god i'm um I'm doing the Outstanding Achievement in a Competition program. Nice. Yeah, yeah, okay. so that's gonna be fun. Very cool. Man, it's great to talk to you. So happy for you. Thank and you looking so great oh, tonight. Have fun amazing. out there. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Nice Thanks for having me. Watching. We will be watching. Thank you so much. And we'll move on to this, the cast of HBO Succession. Back at the Emmys this year, a whopping 25 nominations, including Nicholas Braun for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. Yeah, he was also nominated in 2020 and is up again for his scene-stealing role as Cousin Greg. The HBO hit has received so much praise, including the Outstanding Drama Series Emmy win back in 2020. But Nicholas says there is one thing about making the show that might surprise fans. Watch this. What people probably don't know about Succession or the way that we shoot is that you don't know when you'll be on camera a lot of the time. So you kind of have to be ready to be on camera. You're kind, you, you have to be in the take you know, fully because the camera sometimes just whips on you you know, our camera guys just follow their instincts a lot of the time. So um, it's really exciting. You know, you, you, you know, you, you just get to live in the full take every single time. Um, and that's an exciting way to, to way to work. 
Hey. Dancing in, dancing you know, in. Just oh, dancing it out with Robin Thede no. from a Black Lady Sketch Show oh, because no. why not? Why not? <laughs> How are you? I am so good, you guys. First of all, the ring. Can we Ooh. talk about it? Oh. The ring, the whole look, but that ring perfectly coordinated. All right, Thank tell you. us about it. Well, the look is custom Christian Siriano. Yes. The ring is by a wonderful designer. I can't remember the name of <laughs> But they are amazing, but the ring, as I'm seen here. I'm gonna tag them, I'm gonna tag them. You know them. who you are. My stylist, Wayman and Micah, put this all together and they're fantastic. Oh, and they're amazing. It's just a very glamorous Marilyn Monroe inspired moment. I think I the color it. is beautiful. And if you guys, are you, can these cameras move? I don't know, we'll I, find out. Can, can okay. we get the thighs? Well, I need you to see my leg. Okay, I'll just it lift it up. There, there it is, is. there help. it is. Um, thighs out. Thighs out, skies out. Thighs okay, listen. Um, my cast member Sky Townsend, right there, looking real cute. Uh huh. They're also in the blue. You also guys in blue. Match. We match. It's not intended. I'm very angry at her. <laughs> uh, Best friends, love hate. It's truly fine. trying to steal my thunder. Very rude. You're fired. It's over. Um, <laughs> okay, wait. Come on. Get up here. Get up here. Look at this. Right. I love her. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. On. This yeah. is honestly embarrassing. Look, she's got a fan. She's bringing you. You can't complain about it. Honestly oh. embarrassing. We match. This We're is, really gross. This is uh, C and Sky. C and Sky. Oh, I'm lying. We hate it. We'll keep it my interview. Get out of my interview. And that was that. You only share so much of that spotlight. A we know black it lady sketch show because of people like her is up against SNL tonight. Yeah, we are Big so deal. excited, and it is it's truly without Sky, I would not have the great season we had. She's fantastic. Yeah. Gabrielle it's Dennis, so Ashton Nicole funny. Black, they're so good. Well, but it, it, go ahead. Yeah. It's, no, it's just so yeah. funny. But but I want to say like you can tell when you have the likes of Quinta Brunson, oh who my gosh. you know Please. reared in the uh, Black Lady Sketch so show. So good. Listen, she came to me perfect. I can't take any credit for that. <laughs> I, I was lucky enough to have her for a season, and she is just crushing it. Yeah. Crushing oh it. Well, let's talk about that. She's like it, one of the breakouts of, of this entire Emmys. Everybody's talking about her, talking one about the breakout. I mean, the, the, the breakout. The mother breakout. The breakout. Okay. That's right. Okay. Um, that's that. um, that's that. But yeah, no, it's great. That you yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. No, it's just, I feel like the Black Lady Sketch Show universe is just growing. Yeah. And you're going to see us popping up everywhere, man, and doing great things. And that's what representation and access yeah. does. Yeah. You know, and it really allows us to be seen on a new level and to be talked about in these conversations. Well, I'm it's, so excited it's for that. It's such a pleasure to talk so to you. Much. And again, you, you look so great. Much. Thank you, you for the whole display, stunning. the whole thing. And thank you for your energy. Yeah, and absolutely. There we go. Dancing it in, dancing <laughs> it out. <laughs> Let me help you down so you don't oh, fall please. there. We got the thing. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, come right on up. Hello, come sir. How are, you? how are you? Doing? Oh my gosh, so good to see you. Holy oil machine here. How are you? I know one. It was like immediately pretty. Like good doctor. People love it. People are talking about it. What, what's the most common feedback you get from fans? Um, I guess people asking if I've learned anything medically that would be useful, yeah, sure. especially on a hot day like today. Yeah. But unfortunately, I haven't. So yeah. you're yeah. better off okay. ignoring any yeah. medical advice no that advice I were whatsoever. to give. Okay. Yeah. And you're presenting tonight. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's the category? Uh, it's best supporting actress in a limited or anthology series. So it's either someone from The White Lotus or Dope Sick, given that there's five sure. from The White Lotus yeah. nominated in the category and two from Dope Sick. But it's um, yeah, it just goes to show what brilliant shows the two of them are Absolutely and how. Right how much of an ensemble they both are. Sure. And, and with a show that's just steeped in that the medical industry, considering everything we just went through, uh, kind of are still in, maybe not. It feels like we, we might be oh, out of it a little bit. Yeah. But with the <laughs> pandemic, yeah. uh, did you take any of that in with you? Just like this world's fascination with the medical industry now? Yeah, I guess I've, the, the thing I took away most from it is just feeling very lucky to be playing a doctor and and sort of having that even greater weight, I guess, of responsibility. Yeah. Um, you know, we've we've all admired doctors for a long time, but I think this is like put it into perspective on a oh, whole yeah. other Good level. For sure. um, yeah. And so, yeah, just just lucky to be playing one. All right, you walk down the Emmys, a lot of people at home that will never be in a place like this. It's wild. You just turn around, <laughs> there's a star from this show. There's a star from this show. People you've never seen or you want to see or whatever. Who stands out to you? Who's like the starstruck moment if you would run into them tonight? Oh my goodness. Um, the, the people that I am very excited to meet are the cast of Abbott Elementary. Right? Yeah. I'm hoping because we're on the same network that we will be allowed to meet <laughs> yeah. at some way. Maybe be at the um, same area, seated yeah, together. Yeah, you never know, right, right. but they're just, no, I mean, obviously Quinta is brilliant, but all of them are fantastic. Yeah. And it's just this show that's so, you know, funny um, and comforting, but also has something to say about the world too that's important. Sure, yeah. absolutely. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so, so no, much not for at just all. being here. No, and, thank and you. Giving us just some of this wonderful accent I need <laughs> to hear Pleasure right to now. It's just the British yeah. accent yeah, I really that you need. It's it's like these. The, the cabinet <laughs> will help you down here. Uh, as I believe Natasha, thank you so much. I believe Natasha Rothwell is coming right on up. Oh, uh, we got a lot sure. going oh, on. Oh, oh, here she is. Woo! 
Oh, Hello, Natasha. Goodness. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? You look stunning. Ooh, I'm better now. Oh, Queen. thank you. Wow. You look amazing. Tell us about the look. Uh, this is Sophia Custom. Uh, it has pockets, which is everything. Um, That's no. the number one request from pockets. any woman that talks about any outfit, right? You gotta have those pockets. My wife talks about it constantly. I'm gonna create a store called Just Pockets <laughs> and make, <laughs> make a killing. Make a killing. That's right. That yeah, makes sense. All right. Wow. The white lotus. I mean, I last night I saw kind of the cast getting together and just having just some fun and relaxing. Was that the first time that you guys have been able to kind of just celebrate all of the momentum for yeah. the show? Yeah. I mean, we sort of shot in a bubble and yeah. then scattered and then so last night seeing everyone was the first time I was able to see Jennifer since that we shot so it's just lovely to reconnect. You know what I loved I was watching looking at your Instagram I saw you had this really emotional heartfelt response to learning of the news of yeah. getting an Emmy nomination. Tell, tell me a little bit about that moment for you now you've had a little bit of time to process all of yeah. this but I'm sure it still carries that kind of weight and just the appreciation on your heart. I, I loved watching it because I can oh. tell it, it matters to you it and really it really does it really is a moment. Yeah I think for me I, I'd always been on the other side side of the screen and been watching the Emmys and the Oscars like religiously it was my Super Bowl when I was sure. in high school theater and so to to be in the conversation is just otherworldly and I didn't think I was going to be in the conversation I slept through the announcements and I had an, <laughs> I had an alarm on my phone that said call Coolidge because I knew she would be I knew she would be nominated <laughs> Like call her to congratulate yes! her kind of thing. A hundred percent. And then wow. I looked at my phone and it was on fire with love. And so it was really emotional. That's I great. love that. That's but to yeah. be in the conversation, you know, on multiple shows that are just in the conversation, we got to talk about Insecure. Okay. Oh, we got to talk about just the most hilarious person on that show. Oh, man. Uh, your role there. And then also to go to White Lotus and have this type of recognition. It's something about you. I'm, I'm feeling like it. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, for me, I just love being able to have comedy that has gravity and then you have the, the drama that has the levity and so to be able to make people laugh and make people cry it, it is I feel an, an honor and a privilege and I hope I get to do more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me just say thank you for being a wholesome grounding force on oh. White Lotus. It was like it's like oh we just held you right there in the palm of our hand and then it's like oh no oh no they're gonna hurt her take feelings care her. take care of her um, I wonder who you bonded with most was it Jennifer Coolidge did you guys have who who is the like the last thing who's like homie? Yeah, who's, I mean, homie? who's homie who's the homie I mean Jennifer I feel Murray Bartlett come yeah, on right. I mean he was so one he's just a lovely person and Mike everyone I mean we we shot during the pandemic, pre-vaccination, in a bubble, so we all kind of bonded, and it was lovely. Oh, I want to know what the text back and forth was with uh, another nominee, Issa Rae. Yes. Like, where you guys like, wait, wait, girl. You're oh my goodness, <laughs> it is constantly, we have this sort of text group uh, with the core cast, and we were just showering her with love, and to see her shine, it's just beautiful. And yeah. so it's an honor to be able to have her number two text her. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, I gotta tell you, uh, White Lotus, Insecure, all the things, you've got such a future, and we can't wait to watch Watch. Thank Good you. luck tonight. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us and giving us some of your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, there we go. I'll help you down here. You got it. We got. She's got the handlers. She's got the dress. Wow. She's got the look. Wow, the looks. Well, speaking of the White Lotus, Natasha's co-star Connie Britton is up tonight for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Limited or Anthology Series or Movie for her role, and she revealed why filming this project was such a unique experience. Well, I mean, there are so many things that made the shoot special. Um, you know, the fact that it was in the middle, or actually at the beginning, at the most scary point of a worldwide pandemic, you could consider that special. Um, and, you know, but then of course, the fact that we got to shoot at this amazing, gorgeous hotel in Maui, um, which was closed down when we first started shooting there. So that was kind of just, I mean, who gets that opportunity? Um, and, you know, but then beyond that, you know what made it special? A fantastic script, a fantastic cast and crew, being able to bond with everybody like so closely because we were all really in this very intense bubble. And there was something about we'd all been in quarantine. Everybody had been in isolation. At, by the time we started shooting, the world had been shut down for like six months. So there was something about coming back into a world where you were with other humans, doing the thing that you love, you know, that was really special. Oh, well, here we go, here we go. Guys, we're already in deep conversation. We yes. are here right now with icon Cheryl Lee Ralph, okay? just. 
beautiful. And you guys know I'm excited because Abbott Elementary is in the building. <laughs> How Thank are you? you? I am so great and I am so happy to be in this freshman mega juggernaut hit of a series, <laughs> Abbott Elementary. Absolutely. You know what, I was reading that you thought this role, you might kind of be invisible in the show. I absolutely and, and as I've watched it, I realized, yeah, the writing is there, but you're there and you bring it to the forefront. Tell me about sinking your teeth in and then getting the acknowledgement on this end of it. Believe it or not, I didn't sink my te teeth really? in at all. Uh -huh. I was just doing my job because I felt like that. I thought that I was just going to be there collecting a check. I had no idea. Wow. that people would see the subtleties in the work. It's very easy for people to miss the layers that you put in sometimes as an actor. And they saw it all. <laughs> they sure did. And, and you brought it I all. Am. And you oh, brought it thank all. Thank you oh very much. Thank you. Speaking of not being invisible at all, I yes. have to say, this Head is to toe. I have to tell you, look. I've got to let you know that five days ago, I had no gown. I had no gown, I had nothing, and Brandon Blackwood heard about my plight through Roberto, the stylist in New York, no and way. my daughter, Ivy Coco. <laughs> they all came together, and here I am. So that's how family works. That's how family works, <laughs> even extended family. I now have family I didn't know was my family, yes. the way they have come through for me. Absolutely well, You're beautiful. a showstopper, you're a showstopper. Look at this, we're getting the full body here. We got the orange in the back, you got the orange. You got the orange in the bag, the whole thing here. Come I, on now. I knew orange was gonna be a moment. <laughs> hey, here's something else that I was I was looking at uh, on your credit list and looking at you working with the great Sidney Poitier, working on Broadway. So many credits to your name. What's the, the lesson for you in life or maybe your message in life about continuing to work and continuing to do great work and then, and then being acknowledged all along the way and here you are with an to, Emmy nomination? I have to tell you this, one day I was shooting a movie with Robert De Niro, the great Robert De Niro, and in between shots, he looked at me and he said, you are great. He said, like, you're like really DGA, damn great actress. <laughs> but Hollywood's not looking for you. They are not looking for the black girl. So you better wave that red flag and let them know you're here because you deserve to be seen. Wow. 30 wow. years later, I am seen yes! with my Emmy go. nomination. <laughs> and thank God I didn't give up on me because oh. it's been a rough climb, but it's worth every step. Oh I my mean, goodness. The you most inspiring moment of the night girl. right this here. Is my dream Absolutely. girl. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Girl. This is Thank amazing. You. I am so excited for you. Have the Thank best you. time tonight. Thank you. Oh my God. Help you down here. And Thank you so much. I appreciate people, people, people for the stories of my career. I appreciate you all. Well, we appreciate you too. Thank Let me help you down off the here. stage there here as we say Gosh, goodbye. So much fun. We know you're going to have an incredible night tonight. Best of luck. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're talking Abbott Elementary. We can't, we're going to keep talking Abbott Elementary. Creator and star Quinta Brunson made TV history as the first black woman to receive three comedy uh, Emmy nominations in the same year, Jenny. Yep. The ABC series earned high praise for its freshman season, and Quinta explained to us what she wants viewers to take away from the workplace comedy. I really wanted to make, Abbott is a network television show. I know that as of late, it felt like critics had started to ignore the network space um, or not hold it at the same position as streaming and cable. So my goal was to reach people. I wanted people to like the show. I needed, you know, people who only have network television. Maybe they can't afford Netflix or they, or they don't have HBO or something. I wanted them to enjoy the show and kind of wanted them to go Mmm, like a new meal, new food, this tastes good. Thanks for giving us something like cool over here. I'm happy that it translated across the board for critics, for your average viewer at home, for people with social media, but also for people without social media. One of the best calls I ever got was from um, someone I know who's in prison. It was like, the whole prison loves Abbott Elementary. And I was like, period, that's what I really, <laughs> that's important to me for people who just don't have access to other television. There we go, they here, here from the stars. Down the carpet, We're in the midst of it all. You are watching People <laughs> Entertainment Weekly's Red Carpet Live. We're very excited to have you here in Los Angeles. It's brought to you by Kettle One Family Made Vodka. Guys, we are having such a blast talking to tonight's nominees ahead of TV's biggest night, the 74th Primetime Emmy Awards. Jeremy, I, I just have to tell you, 
it was hot and we were stressed out until the action built up. And I thought it was gonna get even hotter with all these people here, but- We got the breeze. The breeze is coming through, everyone looks good. The, the Emmy carpet placement gods put us in the right spot and yes. we, got a, we got a little a little draft here, which is fantastic. As you can see, the carpet is full now as we build up to the Emmys tonight, of course, starts airing at eight o'clock Eastern on yeah. NBC. Um, we're very excited for that. Again, we've been talking about some of those big nominees yeah. and, and will we have Ted Lasso continuing to dominate as it did last year? Yeah. Uh, oh, and here's, wait a second. It's oh, the great and, Henry, and Henry Winkler just walks right up when you're at the Emmys. Hi, sir. How are, Hi, sir. How, How are you? How are you? I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. Okay. I am uh, dressed, I have the same tie that I had in 2018. A good luck charm, perhaps. Wow. That's what my son said. He said, wear the same tie. <laughs> the tie was the key. Maybe your and body matches, of work has something to do with it. And it matches too. your beautiful eyes, I have to say. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy I'm here. <laughs> you know what I love about you? Many things. But I remember you came in studio with me at People a couple years ago, and you said, you know what? One day you're going to have a person doing your wardrobe and doing this, not whatever. What I love and everyone continues to talk about is every person you encounter, you take time to say hello. And I wonder, when it comes to people responding to you, what do they say to you most often? What do you love so much about this phase of your career? Oh, you know what, I'll tell you, sure. I am relaxed. Yeah. I can take it in. I'm not so worried. Now, what people say depends on their age. Okay. Happy days. Sure. Scream, water boy, parks and rec, <laughs> arrested development, and now Barry. Like we're probably like trickling off on the A, that probably doesn't happen as much now. Water boy, oh, you know water what? Boy. It depends. I promise you, A is in there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's in there a lot. As Got a matter it. of fact, I knew I was gonna be hot, but I wore the jacket under my <laughs> truck. It's under there. Yeah. It's under here. Yeah. All right, nice, nice, nice. Love it's it. It's a so little, fun. it chafes a little bit. <laughs> I, I gotta know, when you get a script uh, like this show yes. on your lap, like, Barry, like when you're talking about Hitman, California, acting, all of those things, what, what, what went through your mind when that script landed in your lap? Two Bill Hader, okay. Alec Berg. So you know that it comes from great bones, like when you go and see a house yeah. and it has great bones, yeah. you know? So the, the auspices already is wonderful. It's written really well. And then I'm so happy I was invited. It's incredible. Uh, Do you ever talk to Ron Howard? I saw him on a Friday night at the CAA party. There he was. I talk to him all the time. Oh, okay. So it's an ongoing. I just wonder what those conversations are like because it was, a, you know, a fan from forever ago. It's just an yeah. incredible to imagine the, the two of you getting together. The said you hated each other. No, I'm <laughs> he is like my brother. Even though we are ten years apart, he has great wisdom, he has great warmth, and he has great ability. And uh, I have uh, loved him from the minute I met him. And I'll tell you the, the honest truth. I was on the set. I'm I'm hitting my script because I'm from New York and I can't make the joke work. He took me around my shoulder, walked me to the back of the soundstage. He said, "You know, the writers are working as hard as they can. I wouldn't hit our script." I said, "Ron, I will never hit it again as long as I live." Wow. Incredible wow. story. Just so we so could talk all day and we appreciate you so much. Thank, thank you for being who you are. Honor. Thank you for your thank work. You. Congratulations. Uh, have fun there tonight and we'll be see seeing you. if that tie Boy. holds true. <laughs> Let me help you down here and I believe and, we've got. And guys, we, we are gearing up for the man of the hour. <laughs> we've like, got Keenan uh, Thompson coming up. Keenan Thompson. Here he is comes. Making his way. And if you don't know, you probably should. He's hosting tonight, and He's we are so excited. Talking he to Tyler James Williams right there. royal purple. Hello, sir. How we doing? How are you doing? I was How just prepping the people for what they were yeah. about well, to say. Well, the full royalty in the purple here. Tell <laughs> me about the look. To it. Welcome to it. Uh, you know, shout out to Doce, man. I just, I, I said it over there. Uh, this is uh, Doce and Gabbana, you know what okay, I'm saying? Nice. So they put yeah. it all together. Appreciate it. It's, it's all that. I just have. I did oh, okay. It. I did all right. It. It's all that. She did it. She did it. I did it. She did Whatever. it. We were talking about you beforehand. <laughs> but we I've been such a fan for so so long. Thank you. Thank and I'm you. just thinking of variety series for so so. Long. I think you yeah. have the longest tenure. Of anybody that ever like, did. Is anybody more qualified yeah. to host this show? No. I don't know. Ever. I don't think so. So. 
this will be fun. We heard 16 wardrobe nice changes. Jacket, man. Thank, thank you. We heard. We, thank you very much. We I heard was, 16 I was trying for 16, okay. and then I think we doubled it. So yeah, it's okay, going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Any clues? What are we going to expect tonight? What, what do you got? Just a good time, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to open it strong with a bang, and you know, I think we got great presenters and some surprises in there, stuff like that, and it's it feels like a large room of participation, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. people that are having very big moments, wanted to do bits and stuff like that. And they didn't need to necessarily have to do that. Everybody just wants to like get in and play with their friends yeah. and that's where it seems like the tone is. So if we can keep that going on that, I think we're gonna have fun and that three hours or whatever it is, it's gonna fly by. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. What is it that is just that staying power for you internally? I don't care about what people think, but what how, what keeps you going? 20th, you're coming up on your 20th season of Saturday Night Live. Yeah. What is it in you? Because that's a grind. It SNL is. SNL is a grind. It definitely so, is. So what keeps you going? I mean, it's just always new every time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that we, it's just exciting like that. It, yeah. it, it's really exciting to find new funny things, especially when you're further down your tenure. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, oh snap! You know, different people keep popping up in the universe that I can do. Like, LeVar Ball popped up late in the game. Kendrick Perkins yeah. popped up last year. You know what I mean? Like, that's season 19. Yeah. You know, and I'm right. finding a character to do. So yeah. it's just like. There's always more to do, and if I'm not in anybody's way or nothing like that, and they keep calling me, like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Tell them no. <laughs> you know? Well, we look around, we see, we saw Molly Shan there a bit, we see, you know, Kate McKinnon, we got Bo and Yang making the rounds here at the Emmys. Does the Emmys turn into a little bit of an SNL party? It kind of feels like maybe this year particularly. Hey, man, if you look at comedy, SNL runs that shit. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, as, yeah. As, SNL is, you know, their tentacles are, are just in so many different directions. Like, yeah. our alumni is pretty vast. All right. Yeah. Well, they're wrapping us up. You got places to be, apparently. Hey, man, thank you so much. It, thank you so much. No, no, no. Thank you, you so much. No, thank you so much. We yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Have a good time there tonight. We'll be watching Tyler James Williams. Here, here he is. You heard. Oh, Get him, bro. Oh, this man. Tyler James Williams from, again, Abbott, Abbott Elementary. Elementary. That's That's you know. all night. That's all yeah. night. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Wait, was your first time here when you were 13? Yeah. That right? Wow. Yeah, my first Wait. Emmys, I was 13. Yeah. I had no idea what was going on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody hates Chris? Yes, everybody hates Chris. Um, I think it's around Hurricane Katrina time, right. so we were doing, we were talking okay. about that a lot. That's how far back. Okay, so now we're yeah. gonna talk about the pandemic. You yes, just, yeah, right, right, you right. Know, going. Is it me? <laughs> is it? Yeah, wait, hold on. We're connecting some dots Am here. Am I the one on? doing this? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> what would you say to that version of yourself about now, this moment, tonight? There will come a time when you will be more in control. Ooh, that's I good. felt very out of control at that time. I was a kid. It was a lot of people who I didn't know. It was yeah. a grown, big room, and I didn't know if I'd ever feel like I'd have a grasp on it. And yeah. Yeah, one day it will. Yeah, yeah that's good advice. Uh, your character and his level of control. Yes. <laughs> on this hilarious yes. show, just the deadpan. Yeah. So good. Do you crack? Fine. Like. Oh. Everything. Okay. So like, I kind of try to consider myself like a comedic athlete. So like, I want to say no, I never crack. Okay. But sometimes it gets me, and like, I hate them for it, and it's usually Janelle. Oh yeah, now it's James. usually I'm not Janelle. James. I feel like it would be her, right? Because she's looking she's for it. So she's trying funny, yeah. to now, just yeah. to mess with me. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how did the how did kind of the vibe on set, or at, at some point you've got to realize as a cast, yeah. oh this we, we've got something. Yeah. We're breaking through. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, breaking through on network TV, which is not that as part. usual these yeah. days. When was that moment for you, and how did that kind of change the camaraderie of the cast? To me, it was the pilot. Yeah. It was in the pilot when we were carrying those um those rugs yeah. out. It was in that scene, I looked at Cheryl and I was like, this feels different. And she was like, it definitely does. And I think we knew we had to strap in for something. We didn't know what the ride was gonna be or how wild it would be, but we knew we had to strap in. And I think since then, we've done a really good job of taking care of one another and checking in and, you know, riding this wave together. Very good. Uh, wow. I, I, my episode was the one where the kids were doing the desking, yes. whatever that was. But yes. I, last question, I want to know, like, what were you like as a student? Like, I, did you do those little things? Very serious child. Serious I was a serious child. Serious I mean, at four kid. years old, I was like, this is what I'm here to do, y'all. Let's get started. <laughs> like, I was a very serious kid. I was like, great grades, teacher's pet, essentially. Um, I look at the kids now and I'm like, that looks like fun. I could have done this because the stakes weren't as high as I thought they were. I could have just had a good time. That's what every kid uh, needs, they, they don't know. And, that's, don't and know. I'm a parent now, I'm like, I'm just gonna keep them in the dark <laughs> about that. Right here. Like they have no idea. Make them really think nothing. all of this counts. Yeah. Yeah. All of it matters. Third grade counts so yeah. much. Oh, this is you it. You gotta get it right. Yeah. Well, have it's so a pleasure to talk to you, man. Tonight. Congrats, congrats. Appreciate it. Have fun You look great, by the way, great luck. Thank you so much. Thrash Bespoke. Nice. Independent designer, he's a good friend of mine. 
He does his thing. Okay. Ten, he does his man. thing. Very good. All right, man. Well, I'll, I'll help you off the stage here. Thank I think we've got uh, Nick Muhammad. Thank you so much. Show, we've got Nick guys. Muhammad uh, so waiting fun. in the wings here. Oh, I see wow. him over there because the, the cast of Ted Lasso, of course, is going to be making their way through. I see a few different people. Yeah. Wait, it looks like Nick is talking to Henry Winkler. When Henry I Winkler asks you to come over, right? you talk to Henry Winkler. <laughs> hey, Nick, how you doing? I understand, like when Henry Winkler asks you to come over, no, you Nick, come over, right? He is, he is an Nick absolutely Muhammad wonderful guy. guy. Yeah. A wonderful guy. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi there, you're right. It's so wonderful to see you. How it's are you lovely. doing? It's I'm good, thanks. Yeah. You know, I'm quite warm, but you yeah. know, I'm sort of uh, probably quite warm. <laughs> Just, but, 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 a, but a nice British elegance about you. Yeah. Say it. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, I hear it was really, really hot last week, though. So it I was. think. Um, yeah. 100, right. Yeah, so yeah. I'm glad it's not that hot, yeah. which is good. I heard a story that yeah. there was a moment for you, and I think that maybe this happens to a lot of actors as shows take off and all of a sudden everyone's watching, suddenly celebrities react, and Lin Manuel Miranda tweeted his love for the show, and you had some back and forth. He, How did he, that he go? He sent me like a direct message, and I was on my own in like um, in Albuquerque, I was doing a, a film, and, um, and, and I was kind of like missing my family and stuff, and I saw this message, and I like screen grabbed. It and sent it to like literally everyone. Yeah, I remember well saying, shouting you out. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. so sweet. And I'm a huge fan of his and everything he's done, so that meant a lot. But yeah, yeah. yeah. was it like a video or something for your kid, or there was some, some other? Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, my my eldest Finn is a big Hamilton fan. I mean, right. he's he's six, and so yeah. he, you know, he's quite a lot of bad, bad language. But he um, yeah, and, and so I sent. Lin Manuel, the um, a little clip of Finn singing the, the opening of that's Hamilton, cool. and so yeah, he was really kind about it. Yeah, that's very oh, cool. I love it. You, yeah. you said Lin Manuel, now the Encanto theme song is about. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moana, Encanto, yeah, yeah, Hamilton, right. Mary right. Poppins Returns. Some of the, like, he's done everything. Like he's so great. It, yeah. Well, take take me into this last season. Yeah. And what was a moment for you that just really stuck out, cemented it, and said, you know, we might we might see back at the Emmys again. And maybe, I'm like, I'm a horrible, my guy's a really horrible guy at moments. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> well, I don't think anything that I did, but like, I think like Hannah, uh, Hannah's performance at the funeral episode in episode 10, I mean, that was, stunning because we I mean it was like proper theater we were in a church we we're all sat in pews none of us really had to do anything yeah. and we're just watching Hannah doing that incredible performance and doing the yeah. song as well yeah, um, no weddings and a funeral exactly and, episode oh. I think it's episode 10 and like it, she just absolutely nailed it every single time and we're all just like you know in, in floods of tears but like yeah that was that was kind of oh wow that's it feels like the show stepped up a gear yeah. like watching that and um yeah. and watching phil um uh phil with his dad hates there it he oh, oh, there he is. Oh, so Jamal. Jamal. i was just Jamal saying here. about how good Cast phil was mates. in episode eight oh, with the scene between God. him and his dad yes. that felt really special and again it was like theater because we're all sat around yeah. them because we were in the locker but room but it started in the bed for me with, with that <laughs> oh well, yeah okay i mean yeah like we i i died yeah me and hannah Tee, tee them up and and feel just yeah knock them all down. I thought that that scene was phenomenal yeah. and getting to just be in the room when it was happening, it really felt like we were watching something magical. Yeah. That boy is phenomenally talented. Yeah, really um, yeah I can't I can't really, wait to see what, really what hey, he does next. So the big announcements come. All here's the, all these Emmy nominations. What's the first reaction? Um, I, I screamed. I was like, I was over the moon. But then I called my mom straight away and then she hung up on me. It was, yeah, it was bizarre. Like, she was in Nigeria. She couldn't really hear me properly. I was like, mom, I got nominated for an Emmy. And she was like, I can't hear you. And she hung up. And I was like, that's, yeah, okay, like, way, that, way to keep me humble. Keeps you grounded, right? keeps you humbled, right? And there is something about dad life as well that keeps you humbled, right? Like, what, what's, like, it's like, oh, glitz and glamour, but at the end of the day, I go back home and I have to, like, clean up uh, yeah, whatever. You know, rightly so, yeah. yeah. Is there a moment that you recall of like the most recent dad life moment where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm doing this and this is not glitzy, this is not glamorous. Oh, like literally every day. Yeah. I mean like on my hands and knees, just sort of like <laughs> picking stuff up, wiping bums, like finding stuff, like constantly trying to find stuff, trying to find the, a very specific piece of Lego. Because that's all that yeah. matters that's, at the moment. Well, yeah, right? it's, yeah. Like, it's like, where is this piece? Been and it's there. like, turn yeah. over the whole house to find a little piece. Real quickly, we're almost out of time. Where are we going next with Ted Lasso? Oh, man. Where are we? Yeah, Give me yeah. something. Where yeah, are we yeah, going? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm at West Ham, which we know, and so, you know, oh, good, there's, there's yeah. a whole West Ham thing going to be happening, I guess. That's yeah. not giving anything away. Um, I mean, yeah, there's like a lot to come. There's some restaurant stuff, okay. you know, which is really cool. I think we're getting a lot of like resolution, some closure with the characters. Yeah. Some um, love, maybe. Some love. Okay. love. Maybe, perhaps. Love. <laughs> maybe, perhaps. Okay, all right, we'll find out. Yeah, Pleasure to talk to you both. Pleasure, you guys look great too. You guys look amazing. You. I'm going for like a mint. Yeah, like, I, I think know. it's mint. Seafoam, yeah. seafoam oh. mint. It's an air of mint. Okay. Seafoam mint, an air, a mist of seafoam mint. Say that the rest of the way down, all right? Yeah, all right, thank you very much. Thank you guys. We say goodbye to Ted Lasso <laughs> cast, and we say hello to, I believe, Chris O'Donnell making his way up. Yeah. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you? Good, thanks. Such a pleasure hello, to see hello. you. Nice to see you. Presenting tonight. I am presenting 
Best actress in a limited series or movie, I believe. Tough category. I feel like they're all tough. That one, yeah. to me, I don't know. Are you? Have where's you watched? Money? Where's your money? I've yeah. seen about. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I've seen uh, about half of them. I mean, there's so many shows on right now. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Seems like a really good year. Fantastic. I mean, between Succession and Ted Lasso and. It's overwhelming. There's so much good stuff on TV. How do you decipher? I really want to know this because, same, there's so much. Yeah. I have every other friend saying, you got to watch, you got to yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah, I mean, what, what, what does it for you? Well, I, it's just a matter of getting hooked in. Ozark, I was obsessed with, and Succession, and The Morning Show, and Ted Lasso. I mean, it's funny. My wife has much darker tastes. Yeah. The darker, the better for her. Okay. I tend to like the comedies better. <laughs> and. Um, and my half my time gets taken up by watching sports, so I'm I'm probably behind on some of the shows. Yeah, like mm-hmm. Football season's here, and that's that. Exactly. Okay, all right. Exactly. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you. We'll be watching you tonight. You. Absolutely. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks so much. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night tonight. All right. So yeah, we've got a whole slew of presenters coming through. Of yeah. course, we have those nominees. Um, we've been talking about Ted Lasso. I know. I keep trumpeting Ted I Lasso. Love it. I would, it was just it's it's so interesting the arc of the show yeah. that went from nobody's talking about it, nobody knows what it is, to all of a sudden explodes on Everywhere. the scene. Everywhere. If you recall, we got to hold Jason Sudeikis's Emmy. Emmy. Haven't forgotten. Only Emmy. Maybe I'll ever hold. <laughs> Don't put that out I'm there. I'm just joking. Obviously, that's not true. But no, but the, it's interesting to see how the tides have turned. They walk into the Emmys this year, yeah. the sort of defending champions, yeah, right? If you exactly. think of it that way. That really uh, is how it is. Yeah. It's like a, the difference a year can make. But you were bringing up a really good point about the difference that a whole time period can make given the pandemic yeah. and, and production schedules getting switched around. And so some of these shows will have so much momentum, yep. right? And then, and then not. Okay. Wait, yeah. Christopher Maloney? Oh. Christopher Maloney. Well, here we go. Hello. Speaking and of momentum. Mariska Hargitay. Oh, Hello. No, how are you? Oh, Good my gosh. Oh, my see you guys. Look, wow. there, there are TV icons and legends, and then there are TV Boom. icons and legends. And Boom. I just want to give me, a, like, the takeaway coming back into the fold and, and just the phase you guys are in right now with the show and with you guys being beloved by everyone. Oh, God. Well, I'm first of all. I'm just throwing it on you. Yeah, you're throwing it all on. <laughs> I would say um, grateful. I'm excited, joyful, privileged to be here, and I'm so excited to be working with this one again. Yeah, right? How about for you? Truly never been better. I mean, if you told me I'd have the career I have at this time in my in the twilight of my life. Really. Oh, no. Okay, come on. You that, saw those work out I, Right? <laughs> anyway, no, it's, it's just, look, it's, it's a dream come true. It's yeah. all great, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, this chemistry, mm. even when yeah. apart, that, that, how'd you guys maintain that? It's effortless. We're very lucky. It's, it yeah. is. It is. It's, it's effortless and it's weird, and I always look at it as a some sort of gift. I mean, so much of it has to do with our shared sense of humor, shared yeah. perspective, our now history. Right before we got here, she sent me a series of texts which I responded to. I showed them to my wife. I'm laughing crazy. I go, look at it. And she's just like, ah. <laughs> Nobody, it's, else, it's, no, nobody, nobody else knows. Nobody else gets nobody it. Does. Nobody else knows. Secret language. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, look, and, it. and it's sort of like uh, era after era of the Law and Order world, right? Uh, what, what is it that people most often say to you? What's the fan interaction at this phase of the game that you get most often? Uh, truth. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Um, I, I mean, there, go ahead. Uh, how meaningful? There's meaning into to the stories we yeah. tell because, uh, unbeknownst to many of us. There are very uh, a, 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 a quiet. There are quiet many out there sure. who hold things that have happened to them, and you know it's a we're shining. The SVU shines the light right. in the dark places, and you know that's what continues to come up. You know that it was a you 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 helped me. Yeah, you haven't shied away. No, not even a little bit. And you know, listen, our world is in dire need of fierce empathy and brave compassion and justice and healing, and so. It's uh, truly a privilege to be part of something that's truly a vehicle for good. And, uh, you know, the fans are grateful that we're talking about things that historically nobody's talked about. So great. Well, it's yeah. a pleasure to talk to you both. So Huge fans. You so Appreciate much. you guys. Thank you. Uh, congrats Appreciate on your it. ongoing you. success oh and legendary status in all oh. of our books. And those beautiful babies. <laughs> and those beautiful babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll help you off right here. Don't know if you guys watched White Lotus, but Jake Lacey from White Lotus making his way up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs>
right? The little meet and greet here. Let me move out of the way. Can we see? Okay. Maybe maybe there's a cameo oh, yeah, yeah. right up here. Oh, how are you doing? Hi, maybe there's a cameo on SVU coming up. We don't oh my God, yeah. I've watched that show like years and years. Absolutely love yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah. thrilled to see those guys. Um, it's just nice to see you as like kind of a nice guy and you don't yeah. seem at all despicable or like repugnant. Thank you, yes. <laughs> just happy to be here. Yeah. Man, what a ride with this show and, and the response. You couldn't, I, mean, I was talking about it the other day on doing a segment, like you couldn't ask for a, a better moment from a perspective of everyone talking about it in a yeah. singular moment. How did White Lotus change your life? Oh my God, I, I've, I've been a part of things that people have enjoyed or appreciated or, you know, and caught it at different times, but like, I've never been on a thing where you thought it was special when you made it and then like people responded to it sort of in mass in that way and it's a thrill. It's yeah. unbelievable. Oh now, man. Right? Like, I mean just to be here. Like this is insane <laughs> to go to these parties and people I've known or people I've admired, you go like, oh you might know who I am this time. You know, yeah, I'm not right. just like, oh, it's great to, I'm so oh, wow. You know, like pretty That's cool. Great. That's yeah. really cool. Do you look at vacation locations differently now? Like are are, are there I genuinely <laughs> do. I actually do. <laughs> a lot of people will like DM me or text me and be like, we're at the Four Seasons in Maui. This is the pool. You know what I mean? I'm like, no, I know. I, yeah, I know. They're like, we stayed there. I'm like, yeah. Tell yeah. me if this is true. I, I feel like it's the kind of show that you would see it on page, on the paper, uh -huh. like the script, and you're told how it's tonally going to land, yeah. but don't really know until you see it, the music, the editing, the whole thing. Like, is that how it was for you? And when was the moment where you got it? Oh, man. I, you know, like, in reading it, I thought, this is brilliant. And then in making it and following Mike's direction, it uh, again felt like the next layer of going like, oh man, he's this is he's on something else. Like this is incredible, and being really excited about that process. And then I, you know Steve Zahn said this where we saw those first episodes and you felt like you weren't in it. Like the the music, the editing, the pacing is so beautifully done. I feel like anytime we get compliments as actors, being like you're so great on that, you really want to pivot and go like, yeah, but we were amazed by it too. Yeah. Like. It's so wonderful to see something sort of be like greater than the sum of its parts, sure. and, and that's how we felt doing it, I think. And this is a huge, the biggest night in television, a yeah. huge moment for everyone, yourself included. So like, who's that person in your life that's like, I told you so, told you we were making it to the big leagues, boo? Oh man, <laughs> I feel like in a very kind way, like my parents are just like, yeah. so thrilled for me to be here and like, you know, the fact that they like supported me being in the arts from a little kid yeah. through like going to college for this, we go like, nobody makes a limit. Like, this is insane. There's thousands of people who want to be here and we're here like, yeah. uh, so I guess a shout out to my Aww. parents. Congratulations yeah. and good Thanks luck so tonight. Much. We'll be watching uh, and, and continued yeah. success to you. Thanks. We'll say goodbye and we'll Thanks. say hello to Seth Meyers oh, on the yeah, way here. There we go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, Seth Myers. Hi, how's it how going? How are you? From one eye with beautiful eyes to the next. Oh, oh my goodness. God. Usually I want to follow somebody with like bad eyes. Right. You have me up it really Jake pops. It yeah. really pops. <laughs> I'm going to talk to my publicist. This is not what I asked for. True or false, you are most excited for, other than yourself, uh, Rhea Seahorn. Yes. Right. I really, I, I've been a, a long supporter of the Seahorn train, and okay. I would love to see her uh, get her nomination tonight. Okay. Yeah. I get her, uh, get sorry, the get, the get, the get the win, get the win. I saw the interview you did with her, and I, it was fantastic, because as an interviewer, it was great to see you. You're like, you're, no, no, you're genuinely stoked for her. I was, yeah. I, I watching mean, the show. I was. I feel like I was an early adopter of the show, and then it was really exciting this year as everybody was watching it together. It was one of those universal experiences that's so nice when it happens at television, and everybody, uh, everybody came to the conclusion that I was at a long time ago, which is, don't count out Seahorn. Uh, I love it. <laughs> long time coming. Yeah, long time coming. I, I want to know what Seth Meyers' LA is like, because you're a New York guy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you, I'm doing it well. When did, when did you get in? How are you dealing with this heat? Where, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I got in like yesterday afternoon. Uh, first thing I do is usually ask a concierge where the nearest drugstore is because I forgot to buy, you know, Tylenol? bring a razor. Oh, oh, got it, yeah. It's just a mess. <laughs> I, I don't do well here. <laughs> I wore a sweater to the parties last night. Everybody was like, why are you wearing a sweater? Well, it's like outside. it's September, guys. Yeah, um, it's York, September. September. <laughs> yeah, right. It's time. You, yeah. Oh, what you're presenting? I am presenting. Yeah, what category? Uh, supporting actress in a comedy. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be... Yeah, Shirley Ralph, Janelle James. You got it's a, a good group. Yeah, it's a good yeah, group. it's a good group. Money yeah. anywhere? I can't put my money anywhere. Money I feel like anywhere. I'm Legally. all about integrity. Legally, got it. He can't yeah, I got it. I mean, <laughs> I have long money on every other category, <laughs> yeah. but on that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a pleasure right. to talk to you, Thank sir. You Thanks, so guys. Fun tonight. Appreciate it. We say goodbye to Seth Meyers. We say hello, I believe, to Nicholas Holt. Here he comes. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm Jeremy. Good to see you. Jeremy, nice to meet you. How are you, Janine? Janine, nice to meet you. How are you? How's it going? Should we start with the look? Tell me about it. I love everything. This is Dior. 
Kim Jones, yeah. got uh, JLC watch, JJ Lecoult. This piece. And then just, yeah. to, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, gold I wasn't, I wasn't feeling a bow tie, so I thought, tie. why not? I'm not yeah. going to the Emmys every day. Yeah, that's a statement, and we're going to be talking about it a long time. It looks great. I own, I own none of them. So. <laughs> but I'm a pretty fast runner, so okay. maybe I'm Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh my goodness, the great. Yes. The great. Uh, when you got this script and you saw that character, what was the first thing you thought? Yes, this is all me, or wait, what are they doing here? Yeah, I <laughs> don't get it. No, you know what, I, I was lucky. I, I shot the favorite with Tony McNamara, the same writer, so yeah. I already trusted and knew his his way of working. And I read this character and I was like, this is gonna be a lot of fun. It's 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 like nothing I've ever read before. Hilarious. And I'm gonna be able to push push it and, and go a little bit mad with it. And yeah. that's that was something that I wanted to do. So L Fanning, what do we need to know? That was the best. Yeah. So hard work and so fun, so down to earth, like I love her and we have like such a shorthand. This is the second time we've worked together, now doing the third season. I'm in awe of her talent every day, but also just the environment she sets. Um, and we have like a shorthand now where sure. we can like work on different levels within the level of the scene. So it's really fun. Which I'm sure is, makes all the difference, especially in a show tonally the way your show is and, yeah. and the way it works. Uh, and first time nominees, I feel like, was it just, uh, are you guys calling each other? Like, oh my God, look, no, we're no, in. I got, to, I got to call her, cause I, like my phone started blowing up and I was like, what's going on? And I was like, oh damn, got, uh, got nominated, amazing. And I called out. And then um, she was on set, she was shooting that day. And I was like, you got nominated for that? And she was like, ah! And then she goes, yeah, and then she was like, you got nominated too? And I was like, yeah, I got nominated too, ah! So it's like happy to experience that with her. Well, I gotta say, what my kid is excited for is Garfield. That's right, oh, coming yeah, out. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just did some recording that. of that. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. They've cool got to do kids. something as a dad, right? Like that they can watch and yeah, enjoy. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So that's what it's all about. Very good. Awesome. Pleasure Thank to talk you to you. So hey, congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey, very you. nice to meet you. Take care. Have a good night tonight. Thank you. Best of luck. The great, of course. Beautiful person about Oh, Alexandra Daddario, hello. Hi. Good to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? Good. Uh, happy Emmys Sorry. Day. Thank you so much. So what went into the prep today? What did your day look like? Well, this was the third dress I tried on. I loved it. And then yeah. I, you know, five hours later, <laughs> lipstick, makeup, yes. a haircut, hair color, the whole thing. That's cool. Yes. What about the night before? Is, is, this, is this like a kind of butterfly? This is the biggest night in TV, as if, whether you're presenting, if you're up for an award, whatever it is. Are you chill the night before or are you like? I went to the uh, a pre-Emmy party, yeah. but I stayed for 15 minutes. Oh, okay. enough. <laughs> I got there and I was like, this is really great fun, but I'm not going to drink or <laughs> dance or anything. Need to be in bed early, so yeah. I I did a little like You're hello to everyone. Yeah, getting sleep was my preparation. Are you typically the dancer? If you didn't have a big day the next day, would you be leading the charge to get everybody dancing? I've been known to dance. Okay. <laughs> Not well, but yeah, I do sure. it anyway. Is there? How would you describe the camaraderie and, and sort of like the wave of you know White Lotus and how everyone's now reacting to Emmy acknowledgement, other awards acknowledgement? It, it, it maybe solidifies what you already knew you had. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I've been doing this for over 20 years and this is my first nomination and and I, it's just incredible that Mike White, who created White Lotus, brought, gave us a showcase to be our best. And everyone was wonderful. We had a really intimate and unique experience because we shot during the pandemic and it's, it's amazing that everyone's here. I'm very happy. We, we were talking with one of your co-stars about just hotels yeah, and how people are yeah. in. Like, I'm yeah. at the Four Seasons. Like, what, is this where? <laughs> yeah. But what, what did you love? Because I feel like stars always, I don't feel like it, you guys do, spend a lot of time in hotels. Do you yes. love it? I or used to. I used to absolutely <laughs> love it. I thought it was the most romantic thing ever to go live in a hotel and, um, it's fine. <laughs> but it gets old. Well, I mean, I, I be careful what you wish for, right? Because right. when I was 17, I was like, all I want to do is live on the road and live in yeah, hotels right. and yeah. be an actor. In a bag, right, like and a suitcase I, constantly, right? Yeah, and I got to do that, but then, you know, <laughs> you start to you start to get annoyed by hotels yeah. and you have to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, yeah. the White Lotus taught me, it's, you know, <laughs> No one wants to deal with your complaints. <laughs> oh, that's exactly right. They might smile, but they don't like it. That's exactly right. Yeah. I used to work at a hotel, can't confirm. Uh, all right, pleasure to talk to you. you Congrats too. on everything. Thank good you luck so tonight. much. Yeah. Have a good night tonight. Thank um, you. Bowen Yang and his mom are here. Yeah, Bowen Yang and his mom. I'm are they back mom here? mom on the carpet. Hello, family. Family. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Jeremy. Hi, how are you? I'm hi, good, guys. but more importantly, hi. 
Sorry. Hi, Mom. More importantly, <laughs> most importantly, okay. yeah. The date of the night, and tell me, tell me about how important it is for you to have your mother here. Um, it's incredibly important to have my mother here. She's someone who, for years, decades even, didn't understand what I was doing when I would go to improv practice or you know do comedy shows in the city. She's she's really seen me. You know, she's seen me. She's seen me when. So yeah. it's it's a big deal. You get it now. She you does. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Paul yeah. is my best best son. I'm her only <laughs> son. I'm her only son. But, <laughs> only son. Too, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, he worked very hard all the time, and he got what he deserved. Yeah. yeah. So we're, I'm very proud of for him. Yeah. That's, That's very nice. Way. It very makes proud. me very emotional yeah. to hear. Talking so. about working hard, that SNL grind is real. I remember being able to uh, kind of be a fly on the wall for the 40th That's anniversary. Right. Uh -huh. Like I went backstage, we got to see the whole week how it plays out. How do you keep up your stamina for a show like that? Listen, last year I think my body got too used to Red Bull, and so I think uh -oh. I, gotta, I, gotta I gotta find a new energy drink. Because it becomes a baseline, right? Because it's a baseline, and right. then your, your receptors are like, what's touring? Like, oh, I, I've seen this before, touring, and then it just kind of like <laughs> moves it along. But yeah. um, I'm, I'm just, uh, if, if Celsius wants to give me a partnership, I, I love the stuff. Shout out, Celsius. Celsius. Love you guys. It's working, um, it's, 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 it's responsible working. for SNL success. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. And it's, and it's working tonight, it's really, it's, yeah. it's percolating inside right now. All right, Keenan hosting tonight. Oh. Has he told you anything about what to expect? He might have. I might have. I might have <laughs> done something with him yesterday just to like practice for something tonight. Like you got a little it. sketch. You got a little bit in the show. Something. You know, it's debatable what it what it could be called. A little moment. Bit? A moment. A moment. A moment. A moment. Yeah. But it'll okay. be so fun. He's so great. He's not nervous at all, which I think means that we're in very good hands. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you think they should just go ahead and do what they should do, which is make a category for best weekend update cameo? <laughs> and sure. do you think <laughs> Makes sense. you would win? I think we're tracking here, yeah. I think I, I think you would be up for it. I don't I feel like it should be something that like Colin and Michael choose. Because okay. I feel like they're the ones who are like really helping shape the the whole segment. Yeah. But um that would be great. I feel like all of the cast would be up for would be, it'd be a very competitive category. It would be, but I'm telling you, you got some zingers in there. Oh, that's it. Who knows? What, what, what was it, the clown? Well, that, well, yeah. Well, I was gonna say, like, what, what are you? The clown. Which yeah. Definitely, yes, yes. It's great stuff. What, what do you look back on? What, like, from past season? That, like, your highlight moment? Like, oh man, I loved. I just loved this sketch, this yeah. bit, this moment. I, I, I had a lot of fun moments. I got really lucky. Um, I got to be in a new wave band with Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> at a Chuck E. Cheese. That was like a life highlight. So that was very fun. That's up there. Oh That's a good goodness. one. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you yes. and great to meet you as well. I have handshakes here. Such a pleasure. Thanks so much. Good luck tonight thank with you, everything. That's you. We can't wait to see the bit, the moment. So the moment. The moment. Stay tuned. Stay right. tuned. Bye, you guys have a good time Bye. tonight. All right. Alex Borstein with yeah. the Sherman Paladinos as well. You guys, it is just Maisel. really moving along Marvelous here. Mrs. Everyone Maisel is such good spirits. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is representing. Here we go. Here we go. Alex Borstein and the Sherman Paladinos. Coming to the stage. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Hi. On up. How are you? I'm a little warm, but yeah, terrific. Just a tad warm. Yeah. Just a little. Hey, is, is it feel? Are you starting to get the feels of the show ending and of things like kind of wrapping up? Like, what, what's take me into that mindset for you? Wait yeah. a minute. What? Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Had not told oh, we Alex had not yet. broken that news yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Thank I you. thought that there was a press <laughs> release. <laughs> <laughs> thought that there was a press. I was, was, a press I was hoping to be buried in a vest and a hat. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can still arrange that to happen. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's it's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's not bittersweet. It's just all bitter. Yeah. 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 I'm kind of with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it, it's it's a once in a lifetime grouping that won't happen again. Sure. So it's all downhill from here. Yeah. <laughs> Feel the same. Very just grim. <laughs> I'm thrilled. <laughs> I want some time to skateboard and play the piano. Oh, oh nice. wow. Not not the same. Wait. Time. How will you fill the time? What's your number one thing you look forward to when maybe the schedule's a little more open? Well, I can't say the real answer. It's PG. Um, oh, okay. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep for six years. Okay. Just Play with my kids, yeah. and I'm going to eat. I'm going to just start eating. Tonight, after tonight, it I just starts, start eating, yeah. 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 and I'll be actually buried in a piano. Right. Wow. 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 The piano that I'm learning to play when I... It's all right. very right. detailed. In yeah. the vest, yeah. and the yeah. hat, and the piano. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. Just gotta... Do you feel like... You got this. I mean, not you got this in terms of winning, but just the Emmys. Like, you just a lauded show for years and years and years now. People, you, you step on and they're like, the Maisel. The love has been shown, here. right? I feel like 
I might let someone else win tonight. Okay. That's an awfully nice <laughs> well, so what generous. Sport. Well, I feel like you I've been on the so other side, and I want to see what this yeah. is like. Uh, spread the wealth. <laughs> I'm a terrific that. loser and I'm a hell of a winner, so anything goes. I'm happy with any outcome. There you go. She's so generous. She's, <laughs> she absolutely is. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> He's like, I'm not that generous. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. It's a pleasure to talk to you. I'm going to steal Succession's Emmy, so that's yeah. what I'm going to yeah. do. Yeah. Yes. Are you, you think they're going to walk away with a lot? I, I think they will run away with a lot, yeah. yes. Well, but, but do they have as much fun as we do on the set? No. No, no one has as much fun as we right? do on the set. Right? I absolutely it's believe that. Impossible. Uh, it, and I will, I will say that it's always a pleasure, has been a pleasure over the past few years to talk yeah. to all of you guys and watch yeah. the show uh, reach such heights and, and be uh, beloved by so many. Thank you for well, taking some you. time with us. Thank you for talking to us. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. COVID. There is no COVID. I know. I know. There is no COVID. Thank you. Okay. They took our masks away from us <laughs> in the subway. There is no COVID. Yeah. There is no COVID. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, you do look beautiful. I think so, too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Her. Have fun tonight. Okay. They're so Woo. real. I love them. So, so much. We were kind of having this conversation, too. Shows that are that are coming to an end. Maisel, we've said goodbye to Ozark. Yeah. Better Call Saul. Yeah, Insecure. Um, insecure. Um, and it's one of those things where, as we do this more and more, you have years where these shows like kind of come up, they peak, they have their yeah. big moment, and it's interesting to see them on their way out, and yeah. it's really sad, right? It's like it's a like, whole like, graduating it, class. It, it, yeah, it feels like, I was going to say, it's seniors in high school, it's just like, oh, I'll let the new babies, you know, come yeah. in and... Hate yeah. the hot guy. I don't know what the analogy is. The analogy is right? it's falling apart, <laughs> but we do get it and we like it overall. Uh, yeah. One thing we definitely like <laughs> is uh, Issa Rae, and we I think she's here. Issa is Issa Rae, Rae here? And she is oh here. my Hi. God, here she is. Hi. Issa Rae, Hi. how are you? Hello, Hello. I'm wonderful. Pleasure Thank you. Hi, so good to see you. Good Thank to see you. you. Amazing. Thank you. So do you. Oh my God. Talk about the look. Yeah. This is Sergio Heston. A uh, Sergio Heston custom. I tried to blend the words together there, <laughs> but yeah, I love him as a designer, okay. and he's phenomenal. Oh my Nailed gosh. It. Nailed, it. Nailed it. And the, she got the heat thing too. I want. Oh. Please. Gorgeous. But you're but not even sweating. You look like great. Not even, not even an edge thing. out of really, place. Really, guys. No. no phenomenal. Seriously. I'm gonna be melting to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Gone. Gone. Maybe gone. This powder's been gone for for an hour. Speaking of gone. Insecure. Is gone. Oh, wow. insecure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, insecure is out of here. Well, what do you, I guess from this perspective, now we've had a minute to think about it, right? What, what do you hope the lasting legacy is? What do you know it is at this point? I know that the lasting legacy is that we open doors for a lot of creators, for a lot of talent, for, you know, just, I think the industry to, to view us, view black women uh, differently. Yeah. And I hope the legacy is that we go down as people's favorite show. Like I stand by that. For me, it was just about becoming a part of people's lives, through the music, through the stories, through everything. And to hear that people miss it is so, it's so validating That's and fulfilling. Cool. Yeah. And now you did it in a way that there's Team Issa Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Team Issa the last thing goodbye, right? I haven't seen that, that hashtag yet, but hopefully, yeah, sure, from your lips. Yeah. I love it, yeah. I love it. And I, and I also want to talk about something I love. I love your hair right now. But Thank you. The hair on this show and what you did for kinky hair like mine on TV is just, I have to thank you in person because it was so beautiful to see all these just dynamic styles. Was that a concerted effort with the styling team to say, this is how we are gonna style black hair on this show? Absolutely, I mean, it's the way the hair grew out of my head. And so that's the small part I've had in it, but I did want to have natural hair on the show. I wanted to show yeah. that it was beautiful and that a woman with natural hair could be desirable. And I worked with the amazing Felicia Leatherwood. So, have different styles on the show. She could make an art, a piece of art out of like two yeah. inches of hair at the time. And she continues to just amaze me with everything she does. Real quick before we let you go, Barbie, yes. I'm anxious. I wonder if there's any little nugget you could give us. What just to that expect? I love it. Greta's a genius and she's funny as hell. And I'm really proud to be a part of this movie. I haven't seen it yet. Have you kept any of the wardrobe? Did you get to like hang on to any or? I got a little gift. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, I was really, I was really, really, uh, America Forever gave me an amazing gift, and I rock it. I actually don't rock it too much because I want to save it. Yeah. But yeah, it, it has to do with the oh, wardrobe. but it has been rocked publicly. It has not been rocked oh, okay, publicly. okay, okay, because we're about to go back to the yeah. pictures and find out. Speaking of which, I need to eat the right Barbie. I need, I know. Well, listen, tell everybody. Maybe that's the gift. Well, listen, no, you Wink once it. if it's true. You tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's such a pleasure to talk to you. So Congrats great. on everything. Congrats. Have Good fun in there tonight. Don't burn. Don't burn. I won't. I won't. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, I believe we've got. Oh.
We say yeah. goodbye to Issa Rae, and it really is sad to say goodbye to Insecure, right? I know. But still going is Ted Lasso. Yes. Hannah Waddingham is waiting in the wings yeah, over here. Absolutely. She's about and to make her way up. Hello, Hannah. Glorious. Miss Waddingham. Woman. You look amazing. <laughs> look at this. Wow. This is a grand entrance. Glorious. Look at woman. this. I mean, in there's it. quite a lot of material oh, going on. And yes. It's light, but, but it's it fun. Looks, yes. Dan keeps it open yeah, for the dance floor. Exactly. You can do it. You and can do flat it. shoes. And, oh, Are nice. you serious? Okay, here it goes, here it goes. Oh, we're seeing the kick. Oh, wait, wait, Can we pan him, down? Keep him. Can we pan oh, down? Oh, 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 wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> there we go. Are, there we, are. we got it. <laughs> it was worth it. I love it. It was worth all of that. <laughs> you oh, look yeah. amazing. Thank you, thank you. I'm you come in this year, yeah, you're back, yeah. and you come in with last year under your belt. And, yeah. and just like the awards and things, and the, the acknowledgement the show has had throughout award season at various shows. I, I mean, I feel like you're at a point now where it's like, okay, people love the show and we know it. Does that change your feeling yeah, as you it, roll in? It, it makes you feel like it's just like icing on icing on icing. Yeah. You know, to have been so beautifully received. And everyone thinks that Ted Lasso is like a hug, but we were hugged out of our minds last year and through the first year of the show. Yeah. And to be back here again and be nominated as many times as we have been, it's insane. I mean, it's it's just magic for all of us. Sure. Yeah. I, I had you on People Every Day, the podcast, and, and you oh. opened up about how you thought you weren't even in the running because you had won already. Yes. And you were like, I don't, my there was no chance, no chance. So, and you guys had that text back and forth with the cast of like, yeah. oh my God, congratulations. Yeah. What's the text like today? Like, is everyone kind of chill? Do you know, like, we, we usually just send each other ridiculous pictures of us all like half ready, like, okay. <laughs> yeah, the, nothing intelligent and nothing kind of like soppy or saccharine or whatever. We are so firmly a family mm -hmm. that we all see this as a beautiful party that we yeah. actually get to hang out together sure. yeah. because usually we're like in different scenes and so we don't get to see each other much. Yeah. So this is just like, oh my God, we're all here yeah. together yeah. looking pretty. Very pretty. Real quick, we're out of time. Okay. Hocus Pocus 2, you're a witch. <laughs> what do we need? I'm the we... mother witch, the young man. The mother witch. Oh my God. What can you tell yes. us? Uh, people are just going to fall in love with it, and I wonder if they might fall in love with it more than the first, really? if that's even oh, possible. Yes. Nice. Is this is the word? Yes. Is your wardrobe anything like this? No, okay. no. I don't think my wardrobe was done by Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> no, no, no. But just like the <laughs> flowy. But, but it was made by Salvador Perez, and you wait and see his costumes. They are like high couture themselves. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I was so privileged. He, he and he let me kind of get involved with it all. So yeah, you're gonna. They're gonna blow your mind. Oh my goodness. Really? Well, they're wrapping and, us up. And, and hi to your baby girl that's back. Where Oh, watch it. Hi, little Tootsie Roll. <laughs> wow. There you go, Tootsie Roll. Thank you guys. From her lips. Thank you so much. All the best. Oh, you know, you got it? Okay, got thank it. you so much. Okay, we have Will Poulter from Dope Sick making his way up. Positive energy on top After some positive kisses energy. and some and hellos. Hello, sir. Hi, Will. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Hey, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Thank you. It's the you. second lapel uh, or yeah. ornament we've got here. Tell it me is. about this. This is this cool is cool, dude, right? It's oh, I, wait. I wish I wish I could pull that off. I can barely pull off the fact it's Christian Dior. Okay. If it said cool dude, the, the imposter syndrome. Forever be cool dude now. That's yeah. it. Forever cool dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but but for okay, let's say cool dude in terms of coming to the Emmys, having so much acknowledgement for this for Dope Sick. I mean, Dope Sick is something that hits such a relevant tone. It's heavy, of course, on all the fronts in terms of creativity and art. But what it says about what's happening is, is so important. Yeah. What, how have you felt as you've seen it received and the, the feedback that you've gotten from people who are truly affected by exactly the crisis, the opioid crisis that it, that it takes on? Right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, uh, a, a really good point well made. I think, you know, a big, uh, a big sort of sense of purpose surrounding the show applies to the kind of social application of the, of the, of the story and, and the messaging behind it. That definitely gave us all a kind of heightened sense of responsibility when making it yeah. and, and also to challenge the, the mistruths that are out there regarding, you know, the opioid epidemic and yeah. um, just what the cause was. You know, I think uh, the folks who suffered from the disease that is addiction and, and suffered from opioid abuse disorder, yeah. they were vilified in the process. Yeah. We wanted to adjust that in the narrative as much as we could, you know, within the parameters of a TV sure. show. And, uh, you know, I think I think that's resonated with a lot of people. Yeah. Job well yeah. done. Behind the scenes, uh, what is the cool down like? Because you're right, it's so heavy. Mm. So, so are you guys able to just kind of kick back, hang out, go to a bar? Like, I, take me behind Dope Sick, because that, I'm just thinking of dealing with such heavy stuff all day. Yeah, well, it's interesting. I mean, you know, I, I try not to mention COVID too many times in interviews, but we, we shot it during the pandemic. Yeah. So we were kind of limited in that respect. Yeah. But there really was a, a sense of togetherness that came about because I think we recognized kind of how big the story was and the yeah. fact that the effects of the story we were talking about were on 
ongoing. Yeah. And also so many people we were working with, you know, such as the kind of pervasive nature of the opioid epidemic, so many people working with were directly or indirectly affected in some oh, wow. way. Yeah. Only a few degrees of separation. Yeah. So it was it was heavy, but we were all kind of brought together through that. Yeah. And then, you know, where appropriate, you kind of try and lighten the mood and have fun. And it yeah. was such a wonderful group of people too. So yeah. great company to be in. Well, guys, if you haven't watched Dope Sick, watch it, check yeah, it out. Sure. Uh, thank you so much. Congrats on Appreciate all your success. Have a fun night thank tonight. Thank you so thank much. You. Yeah, thanks thank for giving you. us a little time thank tonight. Yeah, cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> that cool dude pin. Cool dude pin. Next level. Christian Dior. <laughs> it's gonna be like what? Like I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Uh, Dope Sick is something uh, we remember back at the SAG Awards. Yeah. Michael Keaton, who stars, yep. uh, won an award for the role in Dope Sick and had a very emotional speech where he dedicated the award to his nephew, yeah. who he lost uh, uh, from drug addiction. Uh, yeah. Just really heartfelt, and you can tell the cast. Um, e e if are either personally affected, as he was yeah. saying, or know people close enough that, that it really does carry a lot of weight and it's very special and, for them. And, and, Think of the cast of Squid Game. Squid here we go, here we go. The Hello. cast of Squid Game hi. is with us. Pleasure to see you. Hi, Thank hi. You. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hi. Great. Love the suit. <laughs> Uh, hello to everyone. I think we have uh, an yeah. interpreter there. Goodness. Okay. You guys I'm, look amazing. Oh, yeah. hi. Okay, sure. So. Let me. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're fine right there. Please Let's tell them they look amazing. Right <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. My goodness. Uh, so my question right away is, uh, I, oh yeah, let me have you right over here. Sorry, they're after, have, asking me to move. We got a lot of people. We got a small space, yes. guys. Got, it's the Emmys. It's live. We're happening. <laughs> we talked to you guys earlier in the year at another show, and I wonder now. Here we are. Emmy Awards, what does this mean to you, even in comparison to all the other accolades you've already received? Uh, well, I mean, it's just a great honor just to be here. I mean, whether we win it or not tonight, we are all winners. So that's definitely the thing. Absolutely. I, I want to know, uh, just what was the reaction to the script? When you get something like Squid Game in your lap and you're reading that, and you, who do you call? Do you say yes immediately? Are you scared? Uh, <laughs> I felt that the director's ability to bring in the games and the fascination with the games to portray the issues of society was truly amazing. Okay, the important stuff. What does a Squid Game cast after party look like? Give me your plans. I want to know who's out on the dance floor, who's carrying the night. 저희 오징어 게임 애프터 파티는 어떻게 하실 예정이고 어떤 분이 춤을 추실 예정인지 너무 궁금합니다. Definitely me yeah. is going dancing. Yeah. You're the dancer, okay. And then I think he's going to drink soju. Yeah, I'm gonna drink a lot. Whiskey? Yeah. Beer? <laughs> soju? Wow, okay. well, you even know everyone's drink? You guys I have spent a lot that. of time together. We I all love that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are in the event that it comes your way, where will you put your Emmy? So where, do you have a space set out for them? Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes, there's a place, and that is yet to be determined. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put it where I can see it when I wake up. Okay, that's a good best place. Right on the bed right stand, go to the bed wherever. It's a pleasure to meet you all and to so see you all again. You. Uh, and congratulations. Thank you congratulations. So much. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Thank you. We'll luck. be looking for the pictures of the dancing, there. okay? Yes, we we yes, want yes, cast yes. after party <laughs> pictures on, on Instagram, all right? Thank you all. Oh my thank God, you all. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. Squid Game, such a breakout, obviously Ooh. breakout hit oh uh, that continues gosh. to be acknowledged with awards and uh, with lots of love. And we'll see what's in, what's in the future. I'm still scared of the show, but someone I am not scared of. Connie Britton. Connie Britton. Look at this. Because Hi. She just makes me so happy. Hi. Hi. That was Squid Game. I know. Huh? <laughs> It's I'm like, not scared. scared. I'll, I'll be really, I'll be really honest. I have not watched it because it's, I'm too scared. It's, oh yeah. It's, I, I'm. I, yeah. It's intense. Yeah. I, I, I can say I watched it, but I kind of watched it like this. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, 
I, I don't know. I'm scared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's everywhere. Kids are playing, like, the Roblox has a swing. Yeah. Anyway, and, it's, like, it's and, and I have a lot of friends whose kids have watched it, and I'm like, okay. I, my kid nah, is nah. not watching that. Nah. I can't watch it. We had the same exact thing happen. Yeah. My kids came home and were like, I want to watch it. I was like, I'm not oh. watching the whole thing. I said, absolutely not. Come on, guys. Oh. Don't let your kids watch. I don't know. That anyway. was a hard line in so the So glad we established that right <laughs> off the bat. We got it. We got it. We got that figured out. White Lotus, your kids should not watch either. Also, don't have your kids watch Lotus. Certainly not. I do not recommend it. I recommend it for everybody else. Not your children. Yeah, not your children. <laughs> Public service message. Thank you for the PSA. Yeah. This night looking like a glorious princess that they would want to watch all day long. <laughs> hey, that, tell us oh about the look gosh. here. Yeah. Yes, oh, tell us about thank this look. you guys. I, this is a Monique Lillier dress. Oh. And look at these incredible, this is Lorraine Schwartz wow. jewels. She made these for me. Oh, oh cool. my goodness. Hey. I've never even seen that color. Isn't jewel. it? It's a peridot. Isn't it just oh, stunning? I mean, this tacky, usually people have to turn them back in. If she made them for you, you get to keep. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, we'll find out. If maybe if she watches this, okay. she'll yeah, find looks to Lorraine here. custom made. They won't look good on I anyone mean, else. They won't look they, good. This yeah, could oh, not yeah. look good on nope. anybody no. else. No. I mean, no way. Forget it. Hey, Connie, you've had such an incredible career that continues, yeah. and and here we are in this great wave. Uh, what does it mean to you uh, right now to be here with this kind of acknowledgement and this show that's just beloved by so many people and made such a splash? You know what? It's such a thrill. It is so thrilling to be here with so many of my cast members and with so many of our crew nominated as well. I, you know, this show was a real collaboration, as all shows are, yeah. but this is the first time I've had the experience of really having everyone across the board yeah. acknowledged. And especially since we shot this in COVID and there were a lot of difficulties, as we all know, yeah. around that. It's just, it's very sure. rewarding. Yeah, yeah. What's your real life hotel nightmare story? I want to know what happened in a oh. hotel that you were like, what the heck? <laughs> My real life nightmare hotel story. Oh gosh, <laughs> I don't know. You caught that me on that one. one. That's that a tough one. one. I know. I'm going to lose. But it's so steeped in that location. I know, you know right? Do you like hotels? I do like hotels. Okay. Do you have like I the must-have? Like, you know the fridges, sometimes well, you can choose what's going to be in there. Is there something like, ooh, I need either a red wine or white wine. I need Oreos. I need like, you know, for me, I always need like, I like a, a honey nut, kind of like a honey well, uh, flavored almond. Ooh, you taste. do? I don't, I mean, they're rarely, I don't, oh, I'm, I don't like have the power. Yeah, oh, like but I like dinner. when they provide them. Oh, yes. I'm with you. I love those. Right? I love so those good. in a mini bar. You, okay, separate from the mini bars. You know what else I like in a mini bar? A little tiny bottle of champagne. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just, Ooh, tiny, just enough. Just enough. Yeah. Steve Zahn, as I watched, as extreme as he is, it challenged me as a husband. Because it was like, oh no, I don't want to be any of those things. Right, I right? know. I mean, there, there's like humanity in the extremes of the characters. Well, that's the thing that was so beautiful about the writing of that show is that you know, those characters, you could kind of look at them like, oh my gosh, like, they're horrible. But actually, they all had elements of humanity that we all recognize and I had so many I was like you know playing this very specific kind of woman but I had so many women and men too by the way come to me and be like I related to your characters so much yeah. because we're all just we all make mistakes and yeah. we're all doing the best we can but you know it's it's like a reality yeah you know it's like a wake-up call yeah for sure well Connie Britton doesn't make any mistakes I'm gonna tell you that right now oh girl whew. Yeah, you, it, 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 you just have that thing. Oh. I'm telling you, it just, just jumps off the screen. Thank and it's you. beautiful to watch. I want, I, we're out of time. I, I wish we had more time to talk. I want more Friday Night Lights stuff to talk. I want to talk about, I want to talk about Nashville. Okay, okay. okay. We'll help you down. You have a lot of places okay, to be. Exactly. Thank so you so much. Y'all have fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Right, right, help you down doing here. Doing here we go. Oh my God. He's right, making bye. it. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good night tonight. Back to Nashville days. Connie. We're doing this. The two lead actresses of Killing Eve, they are celebrating the series' final season with Emmy noms of their own tonight. It's a big night for all of them. Yeah, that's right. Jodie Comer and Sandra O are both nominated for Outstanding Lead Actress in a drama series. Sandra starred as Eve Palastri for four seasons and also served as co-executive producer before getting promoted to executive producer in season three. It's been a journey. It's been a good journey. We got the scoop from Sandra about what it was like taking on those duties both in front of and behind the camera. Watch. I feel like definitely through growing, through Killing Eve and then taking on the EP, the uh, executive producer kind of responsibilities, I've learned a lot that way. I think I've grown a lot that way. And I feel um, slightly more confident in, in those overall skills. What are you doing? I'm trying to show you I've changed. If you'd really changed,
you wouldn't have come here. And I think particularly in television, um, if, you are the, if you are carrying the show in one way or another, you need to have, or I prefer to have access with the main creators and start a kind of collaboration where you're creating, you're creating the thing together. Um, because particularly for something like Killing Eve, it was very, um, it, it, there was something quite magical and challenging about the show that it was kind of being created as we were acting it. <laughs> which is kind of like too late, but amazing and magical because it's happening on screen. <laughs> we are here with yet another standout from the Ted Lasso class, the great Miss Niles. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Oh you my look goodness. So regal and amazing. Just the look of the night. Thank you. Tell us about it. Um, I just thought I wanted to wear something gold. That's what I thought. <laughs> gold and <laughs> regal. And I was thinking, you know, with royalty coming from the coming from Britain, from the UK, so I thought, wear something gold. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, beautiful, yes. Oh, my Get God. all the of that. The whole thing, that. All the way up to those oh, earrings. <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> well, it's a big night, but all I mean, right. I feel like you guys, I, even though it's still a new show, you kind of know the roots when it comes to Emmy. Like, there's been nominations. This is my first time. Well, so we'll I know, I'm, I was always yeah. rooting for everybody else, yeah. and I'm still yeah, rooting for them yeah. from a distance. Like, but thinking this kind. is the night. For I know, you. I know. It's, it's kind of like a shock to be here. And I've just enjoyed the ride, so. Yeah. I wonder, coming into a cast like this, right? The, the, yeah. the gears are turning. What was the initiation process like? Like, how, how did, like, what day one, and how did, you know, Jason Sudeikis and crew bring you into the oh, fold? He was very, he was very kind and looked after me, and everybody did, and everybody was excited to have me on board. But I was like, it's like first day of school. I was like really scared, really sh nervous, except you're the only one. You're the only yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was thinking, prove yourself. Yeah. yeah. Well, and also to come in and be the first and only person to really kind of break Ted Lasso, right? right? To yeah. break through, that's a big response. Responsibility you have. Yeah, I was like, I'm very goofy. Can she not be goofy? Can she not have a moment of being yeah. right. just very straight? Very, very straight laced the whole very, time. Yeah, yeah. Very Riding straight. your bike, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was good. Yeah. It was it was a challenge like up against Jason. So yeah. yeah. Well you you nailed it. <laughs> such such a fantastic uh, role and a fantastic run. Yeah. Thank you very uh, much. What, what's one of his like Ted Lassoisms that you've um, taken on that you're like, you know, I, oh I, I can add that to my mantras. Uh, <laughs> it's it's really Sometimes I think Ted does that little, he does a little slight mumble and he talks to himself, you know, oh, okay, okay. He does a little thing like that and yeah. he pushes it right again. <laughs> so it's like process thinking, thinking, oh, okay. So there's, yeah. I didn't hear anything you said right there because I got mesmerized by oh, those nails. Sorry. No, the nails. Oh, the nails. I just, they yeah. caught me. Oh, Did you see? They are incredible. Absolutely oh my gosh. Beautiful. Look, there they are. There's the shot. If you're look. going to the that Emmys one. for the first time, I gotta this try, is, this yeah. Is, this is what you do. Yeah, I've gotta, okay. I've, I've gotta, you know, step up. So yeah, yeah. yeah you've done it. I mean, it's a pleasure uh, to talk to you. They're yeah, wrapping yeah, us up. Yeah, I know you got a lot of people talking about you. Thank you, you, thank you, so, thank you so much. Thank Can you. I help you down? I'm you got it. If I don't okay. learn now, you, got, you don't learn. Now you never learn. Uh, <laughs> pleasure to talk to her. We've got John Turturro here yes. from uh, Severance, saying hello, having a little moment. I know. Which is one of the best things that. about I love that Emmys, about the right? Emmys. All these different shows that we love, they're meeting each other and seeing each other and fanning out they're get, over one another. Getting the Instagram photo right now, we see Rachel Brosnahan arriving. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Rachel Brosnahan, who was I've just seen... in Venice, and she's just been kind of world traveler lately. Oh, yeah. Of course, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel coming up on the final season. Look at that. The jewel tones are coming through right there. I Hello, see John Turturro. Oh, How are you? How are you, sir? Beautiful. John How Turturro, wow. Okay, should nice I take my... No, I, I, whatever you want to do. You're looking great either I'm way. Them you got the, what, you the Pradas? Got you got the pro Yeah, you yeah, got the Pradas. Right. You wear the Pradas. Jeez. I mean, they gave them to me, so I got to <laughs> wear them, man. You know. There is one show that everybody's talking about the new... Is it crooked? Thank no. you. Okay, get it? Thank you. Love it. And it's it's Severance. People, It's splashing big. And it's yeah. coming in, breaking through on a, in a, what is a very competitive year. Yeah. Uh, I mean, did you well, feel? There's a lot of terrific shows sure. out there. Yeah. Uh, I, I maybe it just touched the chord after COVID or something sure. about splitting yourself in yeah. half or more than half. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. It seems to have gotten under people's skin. I mean, it was not easy to do because no, right. the whole concept of the show is. Wild. It's kind of bizarre. It is. You know, and the aesthetic and everything about it. Yeah. yeah the, the aesthetic is. It's, it's dialed in though. It's yeah, fully realized, yeah. and you get it. And I'm hooked. And I, I'm, I'm still haven't finished season one, but I'm, I'm on my way. Yeah. Would you do it in real life? If you could split, no. you could draw a hard line <laughs> Never. between not work and family. Sever. Never. No. No, Why because not? I think there's a balance that you all, everyone tries to yeah. uh, find in work, family life. Uh, yeah. But uh, there's something really scary about it. Having someone who could control you. 
Sure. Yeah. I don't like to be controlled even when I go to work. I mean, I don't, I don't want to be, I still want to have a, a focus and a, yeah. and a goal, but I think there's something about it that is, it's in people's consciousness yeah. or something. Yeah. But I've had those jobs where you're looking at your watch and you're feeling like, I, yeah. I, I just can't wait to go home. Yeah. And that's a terrible job. But well, what if it was just one way? If you, when you went home, you didn't remember work. Would mm. you do that? <laughs> Just say no. yes. No, okay. <laughs> hey, you know who I love? Okay, you and Chris, the great Christopher Walken. Yeah, well, lots Chris of time. Is my dear friend. And I heard you want to write a book called Talking with Walken, yeah. which I think is a great idea. Yeah. Well, we've we've worked together many, many yeah. times. I've directed him, we've acted. And Chris is someone who's brought me a lot of delight, you know, as an audience member. Yeah. And I love uh, working with Chris. So when they said, you know, you have to have this relationship with someone, I said, well, what about Chris? Because I don't have to act. Because we already, you already have you it. You already have that chemistry. Yeah. You know, when you're with someone and someone can make you laugh, it, then it's much easier yeah. than to have other feelings. Yeah. Or even if they're, you know, imaginary feelings sure. within the scene. So, but that's a great uh, kind of privilege sure. to explore the mystery of how two people yeah. connect. Yeah. yeah. You well, know, in a way, you know. We're uh, loving it, and man, yeah. just such a good job. Thank you. Thank you so much from a Phenomenal. fan. For, for the show, nice congratulations nice on everything. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of you with this show as, uh, as the Emmys roll on. Okay. Uh, have a good night tonight. Thank you. Have a great one. Uh, if you guys aren't watching Severance, you need it's to do wild. it. It's wild. It's really wild. Hello, Caitlin Deaver. Hello. How are you? I'm Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Pleasure Hello. to see you. Hi, you, look, you both look amazing. Thank, Thank no, you. I know. Okay, this is the showstopper right here. And you yeah, too. Geez. Orange, <laughs> this, the, the shades of orange has been the, have been, the, has been the thing. Is. Oh, yeah. Intricate yeah, but wouldn't it. you say this is blood orange, kind yeah, of? Blood yeah, blood orange. I'm putting it in blood orange uh, right. lane, for sure. <laughs> uh, talk to me about tonight. Talk to me about how today went for you. What led up to this moment right now? Did you wake yeah. up early? Was it stressful? I actually did wake up early. Okay. I had a nice breakfast by myself. I had some bacon and eggs, a black coffee. I meditated for four minutes. I took a bath, and then oh. um, I got ready. <laughs> I like can that we, can we take a second and say let's bring back the bath through COVID? I took so many baths, I like and that I'll tell you, the bath yeah. super. Left. The bath left for me, but it okay. came back recently. Yeah. Big fan. Let's bring it. Let's bring it back for those of us who left it. I haven't taken a bath. And I, I mean, a shower, but I just haven't taken a bath. <laughs> yeah. I haven't showered in years. In years. <laughs> um, talk to me about tonight. What it means to be to have the acknowledgement of, uh, of the Television Academy, and, yeah. and, and you know, a big moment like this to, to have that kind of acknowledgement yeah. has got to really feel uh, fulfilling and gratifying. It is really fulfilling. Feeling. I I do think about though the experience that I had making Dope Sick and, and how meaningful it is to be a part of telling such an important story. Yeah. That alone is is so rewarding. Um, and then to get, you know, the, re the the initial reactions when the show comes out and to have it be so um, supported and loved and, and people are really impacted by it and connecting with it, that means mm -hmm. so much. But then this, you know, to be at the Emmys, it's like, oh my God, it's yeah, just, it's overwhelming. Yeah. And it's my first time here. I've never, it's, it's, it's just crazy. Yeah, sure. Did it stick with you at all? Because like you said, it's, it's very heavy stuff. And we're talking with, with your casting about it as well. Um, yeah. After, you know, cut happens yeah. and, you're, and you're walking away, did it take a little bit to kind of get out of just thinking of all of that addiction? All, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's a, it's a very emotionally heavy show. Um, I think that in taking it on and, and doing it, I think I knew that it needed every, every fiber of my being, every effort I possibly had. Um, to, to, to make it come to life and to do it the right way. And yeah. it, it almost didn't, I almost didn't care how Caitlin felt at the end yeah. of the day. But I will say the team we had and the crew we had, it, I am so genuine when I say this, it was like such a family on that set and making this show was just like, I think about it all the time, yeah. I really do. Wow, that's, I'm not surprised to hear it and I'm, I'm glad to hear it because it's such an impactful uh, project. It's something that has a lasting effect. Yeah. Thank you for taking time for us. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you so much. Thank you, I miss, you both I look miss, amazing. I wish very many comforting baths on you. <laughs> I'm going to try to live that as thank well. You. <laughs> okay, I'll help you down. So much. Oh yes, yeah, thank you, you guys, okay. thank you. There. I think we may have Carrie Washington next. Oh goodness! I, I mean, keep, like, keep, if you hear me saying "so pretty, so pretty," I keep looking over my catches shoulder your eye. and just seeing <laughs> stunning, stunning dresses and all of it. Miss Carrie Washington, <laughs> chatting with Tony Shalhoub. Hello, hello. How are you? Bringing in my hello. Hello. How are you? 
update hey, for the night. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Are Thank you. you. Hi, Janine. Hi, I, I brought, are we rolling? Yeah, we're, we're going rolling. live, baby. Here we go. I'm like, okay, I don't want to waste the good. <laughs> I brought Emma Yahtzee because we have a new show airing on Hulu called Reasonable Doubt, September 27th. She is the star. And I just wanted to be able to celebrate and have a good yeah. time together tonight because she's worked so hard. Are you ready to be guided by the queen of fashion over here who, <laughs> by the way, for years and years at People Listen. in Entertainment Weekly, we have followed every move, <laughs> every it. step, every look. I am beyond the fact that it's Carrie Washington in all things fashion, okay. in all things acting, and she's producing, she's directing this this show, and That's it right. has been such a joy working with her. And, and, and sorry, you go ahead. Well, no, I just need to ask. Give me a little more about Reasonable Doubt yes. because it, it conjures rap to me, but it yes. also conjures like well, there's, legal there stuff. There is some Jay Z like, on the okay, soundtrack. Okay. Reasonable Doubt. We okay. honor, we honor the masters. It's really a show about a woman who's trying to balance it all: her mm -hmm. work, her marriage, her kids some sexy ex-boyfriends, some complicated clients. She's just doing it all and doing it well, but she's at a breaking point. Yeah, she's at a breaking point. You know, as women, we reach that breaking point sometimes, you know, sometimes so we daily. get a chance. Yeah. Sometimes daily. Yeah. So we get to go on the journey with her, so. Well, okay, here's an awkward question. Let's act like she's not standing right there. Was, okay, has there been okay. a moment under her direction and under her leadership that it was kind of like, she gave you a little piece of advice or a little something that really stuck with you like, oh, that, that thing is something I will never forget. That changed my performance, that changed my approach. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. No, really and truly, I mean, it's, it's Carrie Washington and all the things we love about her as an actress translate, you know, into her directing. And I felt all of that every moment. That's what made it so much fun for me. Yeah. yeah. One thing I said was, you're gonna be number one on the call sheet. Yes. This is like, uh, it's sports. It's, an, it's You have to be an athlete mm -hmm. to be able to, yeah. to meet this challenge. Make sure you take yeah. your vitamins. That's oh, okay. I said, oh, okay. Carrie, okay. give me some advice. What, give me some kind of advice. How do I do this? <laughs> said, take your vitamins. I wasn't You're expecting need that. You're okay. going to need it. Yeah. But yeah. I'm going to do a deep cut. What would Olivia Pope have told her? <laughs> oh, probably the same thing. <laughs> have your wine. Have your wine. That's yeah. what Olivia would have said. Okay. Lots of popcorn, lots of wine. Okay. What would she have said or what would you say about working with Charlize there on an upcoming Netflix movie? Oh, yeah. my God, School for Good and Evil. We had so much fun. We were out in Belfast filming. Charlize is incredible. I love her so much. It was such an honor to be able to work with her. We, yeah. we just had a blast. Yeah. yeah. What's the vibe? What's the? I mean, give us a little a taste of it. Like, what, what can we expect? Um, well, we joke that we were kind of typecast because she plays the dean for the school of evil and I play the dean for the school for good. And one day we were on set and she was like jet lagged and exhausted. She just got in and I looked at the clock and I was like, oh my God, it's 11 11. She was like, oh my God, who are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I just have to say, you are glowing. Yeah. You look so we're sweaty. Beautiful. I know, but yeah. no, just. It's you just, out here. That's what no, I'm you're no, just no, light. And I know you've been doing all the yoga through the pandemic yeah. and everything. Like, just what, what is keep like, I need this energy. Honestly, <laughs> I have to say, doing what you love and doing it with people you love makes yeah. all the difference, right? That's why Amiyatsi is here with me today, because it's like to be able to live a life where you're doing work that you're proud of with people that yeah. you respect and adore. Yeah. I love our show. I love our team, the whole cast, the whole crew, our showrunner, Rama Muhammad. We love you. Rama! Uh, so it's just, it's such an honor to be able to put work out in the world that you can be proud of. Yeah. Absolutely. Real Absolutely. quick, before we go, they're going to kill us if we don't get the rundown on the fashion. Yes, what we got please. going? Let's hear Ellie Saab, some Bulgari jewels, some Louboutins. You know, I love my Louboutins. Yes, the the going. Right, tell us about this. I'm wearing Rosario. Very nice. Oh. Well, you got, you're killing. There we go. Dancing it out. We got Thank the top, you. top to bottom. Thank you. all of that. Very good. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Congrats on everything. Thank you too. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. You guys have a great night tonight. Congrats with all the new projects. Thank you. the media. I can't wait to watch. Yes. All right. So we're rolling on here. We're learning about new shows. Yeah. We're celebrating old shows. I all love of it. it. Uh oh. Well, Let me see. Hello. Uh oh. Here she is. Speaking up on well, us hello, back hello. here. Lisa Speaking Ann Walter. Thank you. How are you? Well, hello. Yeah. How are you? Doing well, how are you? Good. Oh, how are Happy you? Emmys. No. Uh, let you. tell Thank us about so this much. look. This is uh, Custom Perry Meeks, who designed a lot for Lady Gaga, and he said, with your hair and your eyes, you, oh. you have to wear this Green. color. Oh, yeah. very nice. Green. Yeah. Okay. Only Lady Gaga and Lisa Ann Walter. That's right. <laughs> Those are the two that can do it. By the way, love the, the tie with the, the tassels. Thanks, my dude. Taking some notes here. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. You're taking mental notes. Oh. 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 No. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Maybe oh, gone. Was, this was one option. But okay, it wasn't my idea. Okay. It was Lisa's idea. I got ready at my house. 
and there was a team of five people that went, yes, the tassels. You must. So it wasn't you after all. I, I guess I just need his people. <laughs> right? Yeah. Give me your right? people. All right. I'm a good actor, though. You are a fantastic <laughs> actor. Uh, tell us about tonight. And he eats my sandwiches. Oh, like, yeah? He's the only one that comes over for getting ready time. When I go eat something, he eats like three things. I will eat anything What you sandwiches make. do you make? Oh, well, we had today, we had the whole Italian hoagie thing. Okay. We had the sopraset and the salami, a little turkey, a little provolone, <laughs> lettuce, tomato, some garlic aioli. It's getting thicker as we go. Gabagool. Oh, oh, it's a provolone. If yeah. you guys have not seen, I don't know who hasn't seen Abbott Elementary, What's but this, this vibe that you're getting right here is oozing off of the screen in that show. You guys Woo. kill it so much. Thank you. Like, I, just how does this feel? Did, when you got that script, did you have any idea? Of course not, but like, did you see it in the script that this could be? I 100% did. Yeah. I, I saw the script and I laughed and I cried. And although I'm a really easy audience, like if you swell the music in a movie, <laughs> I'll cry immediately. <laughs> but I don't, not when I read a script. And I read this one and I went, I laughed out loud. I cried at the end and I went, oh yeah, this is the one. This is this is incredible. Wow. And I dare anyone in this town to be better at playing Melissa Schmenti than me. I'm Sicilian. Oh my God. My I mother love it. was a teacher in DC. I am this character. She and written for you. <laughs> yeah. No. To be in the star. She is. Yes. And, and by the way, also coming into a place like the Emmys, everybody's talking about this show. It's a unique thing. That's not always the case, obviously. Shows come and go, but it's gotta be an extra maybe jewel in the crown of your sense of accomplishment that you talk about to all these stars and they keep mentioning Abbott Elementary. It's so cool, man. I mean, especially since we premiered halfway through the season, it was not that long ago. It feels like we are now traveling at like light speed. Yeah. And you know, you make these things in a bubble and, and so you just have this family that you become close with. And so then when it's out there and you get this sort of tsunami of, you know, feedback, especially from people here who you admire so much and love so much, it's 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 the greatest feeling in the world. It's so oh, cool. We all feel really lucky, and I, I think that. that was that was what happened. Was when we were making it, we felt like family with each other, and people caught they got the vibe. And as the audience started talking back to us on social media, they called themselves the Abbott Fam. And I think Aww. in a time like this, when everybody is under so much stress, there's so much going on in the world, people need love, they need family, and we feel like that to them. And I feel and, like that with yeah. the fans. And people need great teachers, and they need yes. to shine, and you guys oh. are doing that because that was yes, a whole child. other pocket of Step the pandemic. One. Yes, <laughs> we need to respect teachers, and then we need to pay them like we yeah. respect them. Absolutely, and what you guys are doing on the back end as well, like getting supplies for teachers, getting supplies for schools that need. Yeah. Yeah. It's just beautiful, but I, I'm, I'm gonna have to throw this one at you. What kind of students were you guys? Because I, uh, I love that desking show where the kids were just cutting up. He knows because I'm, <laughs> I was I was a big mouth. I know it's hard to believe. Shocker! I shocker! <laughs> I was I was a class clown who wouldn't shut up. And the teachers that I loved were the ones that figured out that oh she's bored because she's already got this. And then they would put me in the front of the class to mm. teach the rest of the class. Oh, wow. And she was you know all these teachers would say you're really good at this. You should teach. So mm. if I wasn't bored, I was quiet and yeah. did my work. And if was, I, I was bored, I was a big mouth. Yeah. Hey, how about you? Uh, terrible. Double Absolutely, <laughs> unequivocally awful. I think class clown doesn't even do it justice. I think there's probably a hit list of teachers. There's probably a teacher's association that... He's on a no-fly list. Flatter, my of, yeah. flatter yeah. myself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Guys, hey, listen, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Congratulations you. on everything. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more. Oh, you have, I was just, just saying I love the almonds. She pulls out. Thank you so much. We got a bag of almonds. That's a whole mix. Everything. I just got a couple. Okay. No, thank you. Eat more. Eat more nuts. The almonds help suppress, they suppress the appetite. It's a perfect thing. Yeah, it'll help you last longer throughout the show. It's diet food is what you're saying. All right. I don't know. Because I'm going to be hungry. Oh, my goodness. Ray Seahorn. Raya Seahorn's here. Oh, beautiful. Just the jewel tone. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to take a style Look moment. Look at this. Hi. And again, once again, the orange. Oh, my orange. God. I think orange is what's happening. It's what's happening. I mean, I don't usually know what's happening, but this might be I what's know. happening. You know, we just talked to Seth Meyers, and all we talked about was you. Because he's your so biggest much. fan, and it's I been a long time coming, and you're getting the acknowledgement, and I just feel like you're rocking it, and I'm so pumped for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. How's it uh, feel? Good? It's amazing. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I mean, the... I feel like this last season is the, the thing that we're celebrating the most, my cast. I feel like Peter Gould just, he did such an incredible job of wrapping up uh, the season and giving all of our characters these 
incredible arcs. Uh, I didn't see the nomination coming from me, um, really? but it's fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Here we are. What was that morning like when the text came through? Yeah, I was, you were in London. Yeah, I, I was I in heard London. It. Oh, oh. No, no, yeah. no, I didn't mean to jump in. I was just like, hey, first, I love this. Yeah, first vacation that wasn't about family or work in 22 years. Uh, and my uh, fiance took me there, and we were in the American Bar at the Savoy Hotel with uh, Jennifer Bryan, the costume designer from Better Call Saul, that's doing a show there now. And um, unbeknownst to me, the whole bar knew who I was, so there was uh, strangers celebrating and bringing champagne uh, over. Uh, <laughs> just amazing. perfect. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. It really was. Um, uh, Bob Odenkirk has obviously been through a lot. We've been, he's spoken out about it, and we obviously yeah. tracked along with his health scare and everything Why, else. Uh, no, uh, there was well. a big moment, <laughs> heart attack, that he's spoken about and told yeah. a lot about it, that whole journey. Talk to me about how the cast went through that moment and then maybe celebrating how the, the show is wrapped up becomes even more sweet at that point. Yeah. Well, we were all very close and I, the, he's told the press this as well. Yeah. Patrick Fabian and Bob and I lived together for right. the majority of the season's shooting and um, the last season took a year to shoot. All of our partners are very close. Um, and then when that happened, I mean, I'm thankful for our closeness and our friendship for a myriad of reasons, but also because we were told it was a very large turnaround that was gonna happen. like going to take a very long time you can go to your trailer and yeah. he, and he chose not to and because of that he was with Patrick and I hanging out um, when he basically looked like he was fainting and then we realized something was very wrong and um, we dove to catch him before he hit the concrete uh, floor wow. and uh, then realized it was very very bad and started yelling for help and in those airplane sound sta air airplane size sound stages you know everything was echoing and um, yeah. it was it was pretty moment. frantic, but I was just telling someone, you know, uh, they're like, well, what's it like now to be around him? We, we were always very close, but the best thing I could say is we've all had somebody that's passed and you just wish you had one more day, one yeah. more time to mm. smile or laugh or appreciate them and um, you don't get it. And when he woke up the next morning, his uh, amazing wife, Naomi, and his kids were nice enough to let Patrick and I come to the ICU right away. Oh, and nice. so we had that moment. It was wow. like... Oh my God! This oh oh I get another day. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, oh but then gosh. because Bob and I are the way we are, we just went right back to work. Okay. Thank <laughs> you for sharing very that. Very serious work. That's, that's <laughs> really yeah, great that. insight. Thank that's you for sharing just, that. Yeah. You know, on the outside, we're all just like rooting for him and praying for him, but to be in, in the weeds with someone like that and to be able to come around full circle and have a moment like this as well is just so beautiful. Sure. So I love I hope that. he wins. Yeah. Well, how, okay. So how does the cast celebrate? You know, here we go. The show's now ended, yeah. even though there's eligibility, we know, for next year, a little bit, but they're, they're for the last part of the A little bit, come on. No, no, no. Yeah. but the end of the season, it's happened. No, this is the year. Did you like the crying bus scene? Because it's for next it's season. It's for next season, okay? <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, look, they're wrapping us up. You've got okay. lots of places to be. you got to get in there. It's and, a pleasure and, to talk and, to you. And this is for so nice the style director of yes. Andrea Laventhal, the cutout. Shout out. It the cutout's everything. happening, too? The cutout is happening. Okay. Cutout, shout out. Thank you, thank you. That was for you, Andrea. Have a great night tonight. Congrats. I think we have Paul oh W. Downs. Wow, Hacks. guys. Last we ate everything. Hot switch. Hi. We did it. We did it. We did Good it. to see you. Hi. Hello. Great to see you. How Great are you? Great to see you. Man. That's beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Hacks, I like that time. thank you very much. Yeah. Well, see? Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got yeah, yeah. That guy <laughs> earlier. He got a little black guy earlier. Because <laughs> with this guy, he had a tassel and I didn't and he uh, fought No, okay. I think tassel's a little. Come oh, on. Thank you. I don't know who it was, though, so. I love <laughs> Hacks way more now. Well, thank you so much. Oh, good. Thank you. That's that's why. Anything to get a Hacks fan. Yeah, right. You done it. Um, Gene Smart, fantastic, comes in already with tons of momentum. I mean, I, from your perspective, for, uh, as a creator, it's just got to be a dream to have someone like that to just run with. I mean, we've loved her for so long right. and yeah. so many things, and yeah. she's always stealing the show and whatever she's in, but to see her be the lead and get to show her full range, yeah. it's so gratifying. I mean, it's like goosebump inducing. It's really the best. Yeah. Yeah. She's do so you, good. Do you know anybody like that in real life, that character? Um, <laughs> well, it's across? based on me, so, you know, I am a Deborah. Um, you know, it's you know it's an amalgamation of a lot of like you know iconic female stand-ups, Phyllis yeah. Diller, Joan Rivers, yeah. Elaine Boozler. You know, I, there's so many people that we draw from, but there's nobody like Deborah Vance because Jean really created this character herself. You yeah. know, she really brought herself to it. Well, it's oh, yeah. funny how relatable your character is and this sort of agent type. And I just wonder if there's a is, is there a line? You know, they come up with excuses. There's a lot of smoke blowing going on. Oh, yeah. Do you recall in your career some of the lines that have made their way into the show that, of just like excuses or like just do this or just you know what I mean? Have you been made to do something that you that it was like oh my god why did I why did you have me do this? No, I, I have a, my my team is really very good and kind and I, I actually am drawing on that. They're not the 
the like Hollywood snake that you see a no. lot. So. No. But, you know, I've heard, could be good, could be good, could be bad, but could be good. You know, I have, <laughs> I'm feeling you out, right? Oh, yeah, and then, like, yeah, your yeah. first word, if it's like, positive, then, oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is going to yeah. be great for you. Exactly. Right, could right. be good, could be good, could be yeah. bad, yeah. but it could be good. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know. We heard Gene likes to sing, like, belt it in the car. I don't know, if, is it, yeah. this is, is it yeah. also on set? Is she well, a you know, singer? it's funny. Season one, she was like, hey, guys, next year I would love to sing. Right. And we were like, well, okay. And we wrote, they do this lesbian cruise where she sings, mm -hmm. um, and also she sings in another episode, and she's like, do me a favor, never listen to me. I don't really want to sing that song. I mean, it's Aretha, you know? Yeah. It's like, so, yeah. yeah. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Wait, so what is, you know, however it goes, what's the party tonight? What, what is the Hacks crew getting into? We're going to the HBO party, I think. Okay. Is that, oh, can we say that? You can did say I, it. Did I yeah. just break an NDA? No, we're going to go do that. I'm going to have some well. pizza. I really want some pizza. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling like some carbs. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, and hopefully it's air conditioned because it is warm. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. You guys. Sure. Yeah. Uh, before you go quickly, Hannah Einbinder, fantastic. And just had to have the the yin to the yang, whatever analogy. Yeah. Uh, it talked to me about landing her. It's her first real job I in and as an actor, which is it? incredible. It's no, wild. it's sickening. It's really it's wild. Sick. For those of us who studied theater and, and did, <laughs> did did it in college, <laughs> I'm like, you never took a class. She is such a natural. She's so good. And a really good person too. Yeah. So to have her on the show has been a dream. Yeah. It's really been a dream. Well, we're loving so it. Cool. Thank loving you so it. much for giving us some time. Everybody else so, is too. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. you. Thank you. Have right. a good night. So Take much. care. All right. Thank have you so night. much. Watch Hacks if you haven't. You yeah. should do it. And we have the lovely Amanda Seyfried. Amanda make Seyfried her. is making her way up. Yes. The dropout. I know. Hello, Amanda. Hello. I'm Jeremy. Good to see you. Hi. How are you? How are you? Look, hey, we thought. Okay. Right here. Sparkling it up tonight. Yes. All, everywhere. <laughs> well, you look amazing. Tell us about Thank the look. You. I'm going to tell you about the look. Um, Armani <laughs> Privé. Armani Privé. All right. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, they always do a spin on something classy, which I love. And I'm uh, tonight. I I am a mermaid, princess, if you will. And uh, I've got I've got Cartier and my Jujelicut. And watch. those earrings, the bling up there? Yep, that's, that. the, that's the Cartier. Oh yeah. But this God. is like one of the world's smallest watches as well. You look just like gotta a, say. I'm gonna say this, a pearl draped in diamonds. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's just this little, this, it's yeah. this flair yeah. that yeah. really <laughs> caught my attention. Talk to me about being an honor like the Emmys, having nomination, yeah. walking in here, uh, your peers and others. Yeah, right. Just give it, give us like sum it up. Well, you, you don't do it for this. <laughs> yeah. And when right. you get this, which is very new to me, yeah. Um, it uh, just cherry on top of a great. Uh, I have a great job, and I, I I don't take things on lightly now that I have two kids and I, I live far away from the city. Like in a so farm I, now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I choose I choose I choose very deliberately, and this really um, I wasn't expecting to be able to talk about it for so long yeah. with the people that I made it with. It's great. I mean, it, 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 <laughs> I mean, how could I be any happier? I really like. This is, it's always yeah. going to be surreal, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, we've been tracking along with you a long time. Very excited for you and, for and happy for your success. Thank, Thank you so good. much. So many incredible people here. Yeah. It's like, it's that. Oh, really? It is that. It is that. Yeah. It's my night. Well, I hope you down. Oh, you sure. go. oh, you got it. Oh, I got my guy. You got the guy. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good night. Melanie We're... Linsky is joining us now, you guys. Hello, hello. Yellow jacket. Look at this. Yellow jacket's the talk of the town. Yellow jackets and then the green dress looking good. Thank you. I saw two of my fellow castmates and they also were in green, so oh, that was very was exciting. Money. Yeah. Like money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, talk to us about the magic of this, right? Like having moments where it all just comes together and it feels right on set. Is there a moment from the past season where you just really felt like we're in our groove and this is happening? Honestly, there were a lot of those moments. Yeah. I do have to say the scene I have with Warren Cole, who plays my husband, where I'm telling him like a big dark secret and all this awful stuff and then he's like wait there's no book club there's a very funny moment where the thing he's most heard about is that i've been lying about going to book club <laughs> and it killed me and i was like i think this show is like funny and irreverent and dark and all the things it and really does have all the things yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Oh, i'm lucky i'm lucky yeah oh wow yeah <laughs> when i'm watching it it's one of those shows that makes you think like what would you have done what would you have done what would yeah you have done? what would you have done Oh God, stabbed <laughs> to death, been absolutely useless, been exiled from the group, I don't know. Not really like, the outdoors type. Oh no, <laughs> Not the no. Type. I know, my daughter and my husband are talking about camping. I'm like, good luck guys, have fun, no. 
yeah, I would have not done well. Yeah, oh. uh, Yellow Jackets, when it comes to, you, you mentioned your castmates. Yes. Uh, what, the, there's Jason Ritter over there. Look at him, looking great, doing yes, his thing. Yes, my uh, husband. What, what's, the, what's the after party scene look like for you guys? I don't Is know, we're like, all tired. Are you? Yeah, they're big partiers, I do have to say, but we're so, like last night there was a wonderful party and we were having fun, but then we were like, we're tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot, it's new for a lot of us, yeah. so yeah. yeah. Well, get used to it. Because yeah, I think there's a lot more coming. About this Thank show. you. But we'll I, have, I just want to tell you, I've been loving you since ever after. Oh, like, thanks. I've just been such a fan. Thanks. And your work has just always carried on. So it's so great to see you in this moment and get this shine on a show like this. I'm so excited for you. What a surprise. Thank you. <laughs> You're yeah, welcome. I mean, it's been like crazy. <laughs> I think I read something, that, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you were talking about this is maybe a dream that you had given up on or just don't really have anymore. Yeah. Like, like you're happy to be acting, you have insurance, you've got like stability, you've got a husband, you got a life and whatever. And exactly. this is like steady work, is steady work. But then, whoa, an Emmy, you would kind of like not even really Nomination. put it in. Nomination. Nomination. Okay. <laughs> Nomination, let's put it there. I uh, hope you've seen Euphoria. Um, <laughs> Zach, killing any no, number yellow of Yellow Jackets, shows, Yellow Jackets, like, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah. I, it honestly is like bigger than my wildest dreams. I had not dreamt to this point. So sure. uh, trying to process it, trying to be present, yeah. yeah. Well, well deserved. Thank you. Well Such a pleasure. Deserved. Such a pleasure Thank to you. talk to you. Thank Congrats. you so much. Have the best you night. You look so good. Oh, Thank you so much. You. Let me help you down. You got it? I think I'm good. Hi, Hi. Jason. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> Have so much fun. <laughs> Uh, all right, so all kinds of stuff going on. We actually the spouses have the best time. They really do, I, I'm right? Say, kind like, of like no pressure. They're always standing back there, like, ooh, when am I getting the cocktail? Uh, yeah, like, right, right. <laughs> like here to support you and like schmooze and talk and do the thing. We caught up with Nicholas Holt. We love him we went earlier in the show. Yeah. He and his the great co-star Elle Fanning. They are both nominated tonight for their roles in the show's second season. Yep, L plays Catherine, which, well, you know, while Nicholas plays Peter the third, we talked about his character, it's satirical, it's outrageous, and it's very, very <laughs> funny, you guys. <laughs> the duo described their on-screen relationship to EW, and, and just how their characters evolved from that first to second season. Take a listen. Their relationship grows um, a lot during the season. I think what I love so much about the first season, and playing with Nick specifically, was our complicated relationship and that he isn't just this baddie, which we see his, I think we see Peter's softer side a lot in the second season because he's really excited to become a dad. <laughs> he's like thrilled about the baby. <laughs> At the beginning of the season, it starts off, we're kind of at war. And then essentially, Peter destroys and gives up everything because he gets very hungry, mm -hmm. um, which is something he obviously battles with. He um, loves food. <laughs> loves yeah, it too much. A real foodie. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, it's about him kind of becoming more human and becoming a father and like discovering that side of his personality, but also dealing with this love that he has for Catherine, where he, his feelings, I think, are real and developing in a very natural, real way. So he's kind of trying to balance that with who you are whilst also co-parenting and, and I guess in some way he's becoming a man um, and understanding how his actions affect people. Love hearing from them. Another great show you should watch. And guys, yeah. we are very excited to wrap things up today with Entertainment Weekly's yeah. Editor-in-Chief Patrick Gomez here to break down all of tonight's biggest categories. Hello, Patrick. Here we Hi go. There. How are you doing? Hi. I'm not melting as much anymore. So no, right. Good. I think we yeah. got some breeze cool going. Down. Let's start out with Outstanding Drama Series and Outstanding Comedy Series, both categories. This mix of longtime favorites as well as some first-time nominees. What is your prediction starting with Drama Series? It's very competitive, we should just say. It's very competitive. A lot of these categories are. You're going to hear that word a lot uh, in the next two minutes or so. Uh, you know, I think that Succession, I mean, really, how can you argue with the fact that it's just the show that everyone talks oh about, gosh. the whole industry talks about, the whole country talks about it, so I think that that's definitely a front runner here. Although I will say, I think Severance has the momentum going into tonight because I think a lot of people started checking it out when it got nominated. Yeah. And I know a lot of voters that have been saying that. And so I could see a surprise Severance win, but I don't know that it's going to uh, go over Succession. What about comedy series, though? What are you thinking? Oh, OK. So, I mean, obviously, you have Ted Lasso, yeah. last year's winner, fantastic show. You have Hacks, who also just did both of those shows had a better season two than they did season one, and that's saying a lot. Yeah. And then you have Abbott Elementary. Woo -woo. Abbott Elementary, who is just, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty much the sole network yeah. show representation yeah. aside from some SNL uh, nominations and such. Yeah. So it's very exciting to see them here. It's such a fun show. I know you are a huge fan, Janine, yeah. as am I. So I, I think, I think. Also a fan, also a fan. There you go, also a fan, fine. No, it, you Get know, on it, the bandwagon. It, it, no, it has, we, we were talking about this, and we talked about it all night leading up. 
that Abbott has done a, a, a task that is almost insurmountable these days with all the streamers for a network comedy to break through in such a way right out of the gate is incredible. Oh also, Only Murders in the Building, Steve Martin, Martin Short, it's exciting to have those legends as yes. part of the mix here. Yeah. Incredible, I mean they are, they're legends and they're nominated in their own right. It, the, the Selena's fantastic as well on that show. I actually think she deserved a nomination uh, here as well. Yeah. So I could see Only Murders, Only Murders is my pick. Sure. I actually think, oh. and, and I think that they will benefit from what I call the Ted Lasso effect. Last year, Ted Lasso was nominated for season one, uh, but season two aired during the voting period. Oh. And that is exactly what happened with Only Murders. So I think that that's a really strong uh, okay. option. So let's talk about this. Uh, all Things Drama, four mm -hmm. acting categories, lead and supporting roles, front runners for lead actor in a drama. So uh, Lee Jung Jae won at the SAG Awards. He's fantastic in Squid Game. I know yes. you guys had that cast up here oh a little bit gosh, ago. Yes. And so, you know, he's so fantastic. So he has that momentum going in here. Like that SAG Award win was was a surprise at the time, but now we're like, oh yeah, he's a major contender a here. Deal. And that's fantastic. Would be record breaking. All of their nominations are record breaking yeah. being a foreign language. First foreign language. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I, you know, have high hopes for him, but that category is stacked. And so it's really, really tough here. I mean, you know, we've got the succession group, uh, Brian Cox and Jeremy Strong. They are, probably the strongest contenders, but then you have Bob Odenkirk and Jason Bateman for their final seasons. And I know we were oh. you were talking about a little bit earlier that, yeah. that, um, that uh, Better Call Saul will be nominated because of the way they split up their final season, but you're gonna get a lot of people that are like nostalgic for those shows and yeah. wanting to get, send them yeah. out with a bang. So yeah. that's a really tough uh, sure. right, category. Well, well, the queen of the night, who are you giving it to? The, the win for lead actress, who do you think? Oh man, okay. This is hard. This, this is a stacked is, one. This is hard, you've got some fantastic people there. Uh, I have to give it to Melanie Linsky, though, and not just because she was just standing here on this platform. <laughs> I know, right? Melanie Linsky no, is just so, yeah. it's been a breakthrough performance for a woman that has had a career for decades in the yeah. industry. Uh, I heard you were talking about Ever After, Coyote Ugly, like, we've known yeah. her, she's been in, in our world lives until yeah. since the early, like, Seriously. the mid-90s, yeah. and she's having this moment, uh, and I think she knew exactly what to do with it, and so I think because I don't think we'll see a sweep. I don't think we'll see a Ted Lasso of last year where okay. they win everything. I think we're They're gonna, gonna see, parse it out. I think we're gonna see the, the love shared all around. Okay. And I think that this is gonna be Yellow Jackets win. Okay, okay so it'd be interesting how the love is shared in supporting actor in a drama. Um, kind of some repeat titles here. Let's look at that list, what do you think? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we basically got everyone from Succession. We got two, <laughs> two Severance nominees. Yeah, and then of course we've got Squid Game and Morning Show here represented as yeah. well. I think, uh, I think Kiernan and uh, Matthew uh, from Succession are, are, are likely to be the front runners, but that means there could be a split vote sure. here. Mm. And so if the vote is split between the two of them, I could see Billy Crudup taking this oh. as, a, you know, he's won before. The morning right. show, yeah. 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 A lot of yeah. love for him. Yeah, he's won in the past, he's and yeah. the show so has a good. lot of love as well. Yeah, I could see yeah. I could see both Severance and Succession kind of splitting their votes, and Billy could take it here. Yeah. Also, Squid Game is fantastic, could also be a win there for them. So what are your thoughts on supporting actress? Oh, I mean, goodness. I mean, again, every category is so, so, so stacked. I mean, you know, you've got um, Sarah Snook and, and J. Smith Cameron uh, from Succession. You've got Sydney Sweeney, who's Hollywood's it girl right now. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, I mean, Julia Garner, she's won time and time again in this category. Oh again, final season. She's oh, a double nominee. Double nominee. nominee, right. double nominee. Inventing Anna as well, right? Yes, yeah. Inventing Anna. I think she's got a way better shot here than Inventing Anna. Yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it to her. Julia personally. Garner. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I'm, I'm okay. on there, on board with you. I feel well, like she's got well, the, there's, there's some, which I'm sure means a lot to you. There's some newcomers, <laughs> there's some newcomers though, getting a lot of buzz in the four comedy acting categories tonight. So, so what have you been hearing for a lead actor in a comedy? Lead actor in a comedy, I mean, like I said, I'm an Only Murders fan, and so you've got Steve Martin and Martin Short here. Yes. I, I, I would actually give it to Martin Short, but I think Steve Martin is probably the most likely there. Um, but again, you could see some vote splitting here and, and it going to Jason Sudeikis. And yeah. you know, Jason is, can, the Ted Lasso just makes you feel good. People want to feel good, particularly right now. Yeah. He's so fantastic in that show, so charming. He obviously won last year, has that momentum, yeah. but he's up against some other winners. Yeah. I mean, you know, in any other year, I'd be saying, you know, Bill Hader's Bill Hader, got yes, it, Donald, uh, Donald, Donald Glover's Glover, got it, yeah. but I think I think, I think that I think that Jason's going to be the one to beat. Steve Martin, for other Emmy was over 50 years ago, it'd be great to see him win it. Lead actress, let's jump to that. Okay, lead actress. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you know we've got we've got. I, I love all these women. I think it's down to Quinta Brunson and Jean Smart. Yeah. Jean yep. Smart won yep. last year. Uh, she is fantastic in Hacks. Again, season two was even better than season one. But then you have breakout star of the year, Quinta Brunson. Yeah. Uh, you know, and she's not she's not just nominated. She's like a I think she's a triple nominee, but she's like a, basically like a nine-time nominee yeah. between all the different awards that she could be up for tonight uh, and at the Creative Arts last weekend. So I think it's between the two of them. 
Ooh, I think it go either way, but I, I think Jean might pull it out just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, well, Jean pulls it out. How do you think uh, Abbott will do with supporting actress category? Because they have two oh. in the supporting actress category. You know, okay, well, I'm going to start off with last year's winner, Hannah, okay. uh, Hannah Waddingham. She is just a, a light. You saw her up here, too. Uh, I don't know yes. if you got her shoes. She was wearing we sneakers. Did. No, we did. Yes, we, we got, got it. We got it. It was a real journey. We, we had to work on it, but we got those shoes. <laughs> she's, she's fantastic on that show. I love her so much. Um, and obviously, last year's winner, so there's a good chance she could be a repeat win. Yeah. But then you have the Abbott Elementary crew. Now, a lot of people are giving it to Jan Janelle James uh, over Show Lee Ralph. Oh but I mean, Sarah Lee Ralph, Hollywood royalty. She's fantastic yes. on that show. Um, has my favorite line on TV of this past year, which is Sweet Baby Jesus and the Grown One Too. <laughs> I've literally got a button. I've got a button that which, says it now. As I was saying, she also put it in her bio uh, on Instagram. Yes. That's, her, that's her little like quote. Sweet Baby Jesus. Fantastic. But okay, so uh, okay, and Hannah is going to be in Hocus Pocus too. Hannah White. Yes. That's what yeah. we're so pumped about, and right? That's all I think about. Light. I supporting actor. So, sorry, they're moving me along. No, 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 <laughs> totally. Supporting actor. Supporting actor. Supporting supporting actor. I mean, I love all these people. I think Henry Winkler has a, has a big shot. Uh, and and Bowen Yang. Love Bowen Yang so much. Would love a surprise win here for Bowen Yang. Yeah. SNL, he's just such a breakout. Okay, was he with his mom? Oh, and great yeah. here with his mom. His yes, date. loved that. Um, but also Brett Goldstein. I mean, repeat winner. Big contender there yeah. as well. Uh, so I, I think it's going to be Brett probably again. I think that Brett, might be Ted. Yeah. I think that's Ted Lasso's surest bet. That's I think it's Ted Brett as well. Okay. Brett's got a movie coming up with, uh, there's a project that involves Harrison Ford. And I, I can't wait to at some point talk to him about that. No, yes. But I just love that writer turn star yeah. actor situation that's happening a lot. Yes. Guys, yeah. can you believe it? Look oh, at this. Natasha Rockwell. The carpet's Same ending. Deal. We've, we've made it through. Patrick, Winding it's always great to get your down. expertise. Thank you for always. joining us yes, here. Of course. Uh, thank you for being here as always. Patrick. Thank you for watching. A big night tonight. It has been so much fun. We appreciate all of you for tuning in throughout the night tonight to watch People in Entertainment Weekly's Red Carpet Live. Of course, brought to you by Kettle One Family Made Vodka. All right, guys, head over <laughs> to NBC or Peacock to watch the 74th Primetime Emmy Awards right now. Good night. Woo. Good night, everybody. <laughs>